people what they want. I'm about to introduce you to two people. One is a man who likes to be vomited on. Yes. And another one who likes to vomit on men. Really? You finally found someone like this? Well, she doesn't like to vomit on men, but she's so sick of hearing this guy whine on the air, she said, I'll come in and throw up on that idiot. Ah. Your name, sir, is... Jeff, Jeff, the, Jeff vomit the Vomit Guy. guy. Yes. America's number one a metaphile. I got to tell you something. I think out of all the freaks that have been on this show, uh, now I've been doing this show 20-something years, I got to tell you something. You are the most disturbing. Yeah. You he's also the most committed. He's never gotten off his... De dedicated. Yeah. Dedicated. And he's the most smelly. He reeks today. Uh -huh. He reeks. Why do you uh -huh. reek? Do you, have you been vomited on recently? No, no, no. Actually, my clothes are a bit fresh in a, in a duffel bag. I, I, I put on something that's more conforming for the, you know, for the, the, the day's events. Uh, you, were I, I a, you, were, you were a postal worker, is that uh, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, do I, I have through. your history right? I'm trying to yes, remember. Yes, that's right. You yes. were a postal worker, and you, they fired you, or you got off on a disability? I got off on a disability. I fired myself. They right. Fired, what was the disability again? I'm forgetting. I claimed that uh, it was the hours I worked were too stressful, and I couldn't, I couldn't hack it. I right. just, I they didn't want to hack that? it. They didn't fire me. Do they pay you? I, uh, no, they didn't. They didn't pay. I, oh, I wasn't there long enough. You I quit. wasn't there you long quit. enough. Quit. Right? Yeah, no. I quit. I quit, and I got. I went on disability in the in the mid at late eighties, nineteen eighty. I wasn't awarded forever? it right away because the government felt I was healthy enough and physically capable enough to to working. I had to go through appeals and hire a. But a you got disability because they think you're crazy. Uh, I well, I I went out of my way to convince them that I'm not. Uh, I'm um, um. How much not, a month do you get? <sighs> About uh, $680, uh, $700. It's Is that fine. what you live on? Yes, that's basically month to month what I live on. And by today's standards, that's not And you get this the all. rest of your life? Uh, yes, yes, in fact, yes, uh, yes, I would. Uh, the only way it would, God. It, 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 it would ever change is if I actually got a life for myself and went back to work or had monies exceeding in the bank account. And you live with that, your parents, is no, that correct? No, my mother, my mother is deceased. When did that happen? That happened a year, about a year, a year ago. She Unfortunately, she died. Of, Sorry to hear that. Uh, Embarrassment? Uh, she died of embarrassment? No, no, she, no, she, no. She, she died basically of... Uh, she had a blood disorder for, for many years. And Have she, you buried her yet, or is she yeah. still living with you? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So she's buried in, uh, in Long Island. Was she, embarrassed? was she embarrassed by the fact that you uh, like to be vomited Nobody on? likes my... No, I'm very uh, underappreciated. Nobody uh, appreciates my... Right, so you live with my, your dad now, is yes, that correct? Uh -huh, my, now, I remember, I think it was like a year ago or two years ago, the police had to be called in because someone, some of the neighbors had complained that you were yelling and screaming and abusing your parents. You know, you know uh, my father never... We never really found out who did, who did that because uh, my father never made any complaints and the neighbors in our small building that we live in they claim none of them complained. So, it's so when the police came, you claimed that you were yelling at the TV set. Right. right. Uh, I was basically. Uh, I don't not. I did not argue with my parents. I I get very upset about team sports, losing lottery tickets, and I take out my frustration on on on. Uh, on the TV a lot of the time. So you yell at the television yeah, the when you buy the lottery ticket every month? Yeah, um, uh, every day. Every day. Every day. Every day uh, six, seven hundred, you know, losers buy lottery tickets. You know why? Because they think they're going to get rich. They normally don't. On seven hundred dollars a month, you think you'd save every penny that you, you get. Yeah, I'm pretty, stu I'm pretty stupid. I How much money do you spend on lottery tickets a day? Uh, um, uh, a day? Yeah. I would say between twenty and forty dollars a day. You've got to be kidding me! You know, I'm, I'm not actually kidding glad you. he's giving the money back to the state. How do you I, do I that? What I said, the state, the college. So who, how do you pay your bills? I well, I have a cell. I pay my cell phone bill. I, I being I live at home, I live relatively rent free. I, right. you know, my father doesn't charge me much rent, and uh, I pay for my own. Your father, your father charges you no rent. Uh, he charge right. Let's be honest. He doesn't charge me. Rent. Okay. I what? live, I live rent. Have... I live rent free most of my life, except uh, in the early nineties when I made a, an attempt to take an apartment on my own in Bensonhurst. Um, a lady friend of mine moved in with me. We had a year lease. She left me right away. I was left <laughs> with the apartment for for a year. It was, it was a, a disaster. It was a disaster. Right. That was uh, 14 years ago, actually, 14 years ago. Does he right. have brothers and sisters? No brothers, no sisters. That poor family. So you, so you are here to say that you did not abuse your parents. Um, no, I, that's, that's absolutely right. I did not. And the police had to take you away anyway. Right. They, they get mis misnomers from unidentifiable sources that uh, I don't know where All they right. A lot of people are sickened by you. They don't like the sound of your voice. They don't like your fetish where you are vomited on by women. You know women. what I'm thinking? Maybe his parents were, were smart. They 
saw what their first child mm. came out to be. Yeah, they didn't want anybody end. else. I'm just, uh, I'm, I guess I'm a misfit. Uh, Do you like to be nude when the women vomit on you? Um, no, no. Do you plan on being nude today? Uh, no, no, no. Really? I don't plan on being. I don't. I don't. I don't plan on being nude. No, no. no. Right. And you say this fetish of yours being vomited yeah. on started when, as a child, yeah, early you, age, that, that you saw your cousin vomit. Yes, that's right. A girl, cousin Susan. Yes. Yeah, and that turned you on. Uh, yeah. Well, yes, Con. You yes. started to fantasize that yes. you were below her with her vomiting on. Uh, yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yes. Or right. in front of her, or watching her heave over a toilet. Uh, it doesn't always have to be being vomited on. It's just the the physical act of a uh, voyeuristic watching someone throwing up gets get gets All right. me. Uh, All right. There's a woman on. in our audience. Named, yes. What is it, uh, Casey? Yeah. Why do you interrupt my show? Uh, because he's got vomit poems today. He wants to read vomit poems. I don't. I don't care about that. Uh, you sicken me. Uh, oh yeah. So well, very creepy, Howard. And you also go to the bathroom in the bathtub while no, you take a bath. Where did you hear that one? You told me that. Uh, I told I told you that one. Well, yeah, yeah. I told you Number two. Uh, Is that true or false? No, false. It's, it's false. It's false. <laughs> oh. Is that are you telling the truth now? Yeah, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Oh, yeah. oh no, I'm not lying. No, that's that's a, that's a false. What is a typical I, day for him? You do it. What I'm do you do lottery, all day? Um, buying lottery tickets. Um, constantly thinking what's the next numbers that are going to be coming up. Fantasizing about uh, women uh, puking. Okay. All right. That's do you want to have sex with women, or you want to just have them puke on? I, I, all these years, for 32 years, I, uh, sex seems to be secondary. I seem to get orgasm from from uh, witnessing, watching them, all right. um, hearing them. Everyone is sick puke. of you. Let me introduce yeah, you to the woman don't who like me, Jessica. You, this is no Jessica, who me. is, by the way, very beautiful. <laughs> very. Thank you. <laughs> You are a sexy girl. You were once a stripper, weren't you? I was. And how old are you? I'm 27. All right, 27 year old girl. You obviously are well built. Built. You you attracted to her, Jeff? I'm looking right at her. She looks. She looks. She looks, she looks um, good looking. You know, yeah. I would have to. In my mind, mindset, picture her, you know, um, 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 throwing up. In, uh, in Jessica, her. you're coming in to puke on Jeff Levy today because you're disgusted with him. Yes. Is that correct? I want to puke on him right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, I can't even hold it in. You even practiced on your own boyfriend. I did. So that you were sure that you could uh, accomplish this. Yeah, well, I knew I could puke on command, but I didn't know if I would be able to do it on a person. All right. It, it would be nice to one time meet some someone who, who doesn't have a boyfriend who just happens to have a, a puke well, desire. Well, that's going to happen. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Well, she's Don't get too into it, buddy. But you're lucky we got her. <laughs> when is the last time you were vomited on, Jeff? Uh, I, a few a few months ago. All right. How did that happen? I, I have to seek it out uh, going to uh, Dominatrix's. Uh, Dominatrix. Dom yeah. Dominatrix. Another form of prostitution, I would say. All right. What does that cost? Too much. Too much. It, it, it ruins. Dominatrix. You should hang out with Stuttering John with Pamela Anderson. chances Anderson's. at the lottery. It, uh, I'm, get a big lottery when maybe I'll, I'll paint the town red with my uh, going. What does it cost to have a woman vomit on you? At one particular place I know, two hundred twenty dollars for about a forty-five, fifty-minute. Uh, and, and where do you get that? Where, where do you it, get the two hundred twenty-five dollars? Uh, it comes out of my social security check, or it comes from uh, maybe a lottery win that I got in a, a day or so ahead of time. Uh, I try to plan it out, time it with the uh, coinciding with a. Uh, you know, a two hundred fifty. Jessica, he just sickens you, and this is why you want to he do. He really it. does sicken me. Okay. See, I'm trying to point out to America that this is a, a, a fetish. I'm not trying to sicken girl. I'm just saying that the uh, it's an erotic. Are you still a stripper? Yeah. Uh, no. Well, I, the last time I stripped was about mm. six months ago. Okay. But I, I would like to say, you know, another fetish was the guy. Remember that guy in Australia who was like, or wherever it was, where he uh, had to cut the guy's penis off. And yes. Did the, Big you know, news story. Like that's a fetish too, but. <laughs> doesn't make it right. Maybe I'm a sociopath, or maybe I'm just a freaky, kinky type of you guy. You have a boyfriend? I do, yes. Yes. You swing with him, it says here in the notes? No, no, no. Actually, I don't swing with him. I um, I think that was taken a little out of context. I bartended a swinging party. Oh, I see. Okay. So I worked a swinging party, which was very interesting. I had a great time there. And you're bisexual? I very much so am. You do girls and guys? Yes, I do. Oh. I, have, well, I have an enormously large tongue, so women are very... Let funny. me see your tongue. Just stick it out so I can see. Well, that is a little... Oh. Pretty, uh, that's yeah. a pretty... Um, All right. Now, what are you going to wear when you vomit on Jeff, so we know? I'm wearing what I'm wearing right now. That's it? Yep. Well, I'm wearing the American flag. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> then I find that very that makes it even easier for me. <laughs> I wish you were in a bikini or something when you vomit. Well, you know, I'm a little self-conscious of my body. Right. I lost about 70 pounds about 
three years ago. My boobs are really saggy. I'm just not happy. Leave your clothes on. Oh, it tells you. Okay, leave my clothes on. I'm not... How did a stripper uh, gain 70 pounds? And I was actually overweight when I was stripping. Wow. And I made good money oh, uh, I being see. a little bit more buxom. I appeared to the minorities. Well, you look good now. I'll tell you that. You look good in your clothes. Well, thank you. I, I worked really hard. For that. How, do you, how do you throw up? Uh, do you stick your I fingers I stick down? my finger down my throat, buddy. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, you're angry with him. Like no, no, I'm not angry with him. I just think like that I think that he's despicable and and loathsome and uh, and a little bit vile. All right. Well, well I'm going to give you picture I paint vile it. equals vile. So. All right. You seem to like that, Jeff. When women uh, uh, accuse you of being vile. Maybe it's the the like I gross them out. It's like I get I, I'm deriving some type of satisfaction that uh, like I so disgust them that like I could be their their personal vomit therapist to do in. Jeff, are you going to keep your clothes on? I don't understand. You uh, want to be vomited on in your clothes? I, I, I'll take off. I'll take off my uh, my t my uh, American flag. I'll I would think so. Yeah. Flag. All right. All right. Well, let's get it on. May, may I just say though that I have a girlfriend. I want to get it over with. I that I have a girlfriend for six years. Her name is Gloria. She knows about my fetish. No, she does. She doesn't throw up on me. She thinks it's disgusting too. All right. But I could I could be involved in a relationship. That doesn't, um, you know, have right. a puking in it, but I All crave right. and desire. Lay down on the floor and receive your vomit. Okay. All right, here we go. This is Jeff's dream. I've, I've, I've entertained all forms of erotic behavior, but this is the most repulsive and disgusting. Now, uh, Jessica, how have you prepared for this? Did you eat a lot of food? or? Uh... Um, I ate several different kinds of food. I ate very colorful food. Um, I ate some ricotta cheese to bind it all together. i got to tell you, this disgusts me. I don't know that I can it's watch. Just, it is, but you know, you know what I, I would like me? to dedicate this to all bulimic women in, bulimic throughout the country, country, by the way. And by the way, <laughs> all the files. can I say something? It's very nice you're making his fantasy come true. Yes, it is. Jeff is laying on his back on the floor. Jessica is over him now. But before you do it, Jeff, you moan during this, don't you? It uh, turns you on so much. I, I do. Uh, you want to hear me moan? Or I, I don't want you to inhibit yourself. Um, shall, I be, um, shall I just be natural and just try to? Uh, it would help our audience it. to understand what is going on. I just have to say. I, oh my well, a metaphilia is a bona fide uh, fet uh, fetish, and there's some form of sexuality. Can, I'm gonna make Can you be I quiet and let her do her thing? dying day, I'm going to maintain that because I've been into this 32 years, and I think it maybe there are more guys who are into it I than girls. They have many videos. They have certain websites. Bob I only online wish your one. I wish your head, your fetish, was chopping your head off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't mean to disickin or repulse. All right, this stop is America, and, and I'm just telling it. you the real truth of how All I right, feel. Get into it. Hey, Howard, okay. Fine. Do you know that Baba Booey is uh, he's uh, boycotting this segment? No, get him in here. He will not be any any part of it. Why Baba should Gary Delabody yeah, be disgusted up? by me? I, I I maybe I guess people just don't understand where I'm. Coming. Gary won't come in. Like won't come in. I would, like, I would like to add one thing. I was actually had sardines in so this these. whole uh, scenario, but I just I, I was rushed out, so I I didn't get a chance to eat them. So you're Ladies lucky I'm not swallowing <laughs> sardines. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness. A fetish so repulsive and vile fetish. that it's very rarely spoken of. I have one more mm. question now. Is Gary afraid that he uh, might throw up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And would Jeff uh, appreciate it if a man threw up on him? Would you like a man throwing up on you? No, I am not. I maintain not I am not bisexual. Not weird. I am heterosexual. I like watching pretty girls in the act of, of Well, of this vomiting. is a pretty girl, you have to admit. Yes, yeah, she's a pretty pretty girl. Uh, I have my girlfriend though. I have a girl. I have a girlfriend. I'm actually I'm actually a huge fan of yours and I've had like multiple sexual fans about you. Really? Well. Thank you. I have, yes. This is called Roman they Roman all showers. My the Roman the Romans did it. Roman <laughs> showers, <laughs> rainbow showers. I can't w I hope you vomit into his mouth or he shuts up. <laughs> I was wondering that. Like, is he is he gonna if he opens his mouth, then I'm gonna mm. smack him. I think in the face. Yeah, throw up on his face. Mm. <laughs> like that's really sick. I, hey, Mike, I, you're on the air. The sicker, the more erotic, the more. Intense. All right, please, Jeff. I'm taking a phone call. Yeah. Why don't this freak Jeff take it to the next level and like eat her chunks? Oh. Would you eat her chunks, Jeff? Would I eat her chunks? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I never said I'm a yeah. vomit eater. Thank you for repeating the question, Jeff. Would I eat her chunks? All right, he's thinking about I'm, uh, it. Just a, a voyeuristic vomit. Where is lover. Baba Booey? I want him to throw up. Get <laughs> out, <laughs> uh, Come on in, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. We all. It's fun. Well, it's fun. Don't look, but come it's in. It's fun. It's fun. Isn't it fun? I, I, I think it's fun. <laughs> you must enjoy vomiting. You must enjoy uh, vomiting. You. I'm, just, and I'm just glad Casey's here because uh, I've got the stuff so many. This Howard Stern told, told me about him. <laughs> Some interesting information for him. Who? 
Casey. Miss Howard Stern. Oh. What'd she say? She broke down on Val. She said she didn't say Valentine's Day. She said Valentine's Day. Hmm. It's Happy Valentine's Day. I saw her at Iggy's, and uh, she's like, "I'm like, she's like, how's your Valentine's Day going?" I'm like, "Great." I'm like, "How's yours?" She's like, "It's terrible because Casey doesn't want me." She started oh, really? crying and ran off. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. How? It, yeah, I should have dated her, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I would have. No, we didn't say dated. All right, Gary, are you ready? May, may I just ready? say? May I just say that when I've had sessions, you know, one on one, would you shut up? <laughs> Okay. Sean! 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 <laughs> so All right, here Shut we go. Up. Jeff Levy, yes. who enjoys being retched on. Yes. This is the beautiful Jessica. She, yes. I don't even think she's plugging anything. Are you plugging anything? Not really. Just the bar I work at if you want to come see me. Where's that? I work at the Village Idiot on 14th and 9th. I work at uh, the Patriot on Chambers and Church. All right. Ha Howard, could I just plug two things? Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, Vomit Online is where I go to get my... Uh, it's a website. Bonafide. And HowardShrine.com is uh, where you can find this, the All life right. story. Now it's they... time for you to enjoy. This is what you wanted, so I imagine you're. A yes. lot, uh, you're I see you turned on. Well, you know that I've called. I've called in so many times. I've called in so many times, and I've been. I've been all right, all right. Here He's we go. He's picking the tent now. Yeah, uh, you, you're, uh, you're really? turned on, aren't you? He is. <laughs> well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm going to be watching this very carefully. Throw up on his eyes. Here we go. It's about to happen. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> oh! Ah. <laughs> All right, that's, ah. enough. that's enough. It looks kind of sardine. It looks kind of sardine. All right, stop. Ah. It looks kind of sardine. <laughs> All right, stop. Stop, stop. It looks kind of sardine. Stop. It looks <laughs> stop. Oh, my God. Do you want me to help you vomit some more? Oh All right, it's enough. Oh my God! Stop. You feel sick no, and you let it out. Hold on, hold on. Let it. No, stop. Uh, okay. I just spit in his face real quick. Oh, <laughs> he likes no. that. Uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty <laughs> good. I, I can't uh, imagine though. It'd be like if you were sitting on a toilet, it's like it did, oh, like a mid Jeff, Jeff. It's all over you. Uh, yeah. You well, see me touching it. Uh, uh, I'm be it was yes. <laughs> it smells so bad. How you doing, Baba Boy? It was no, close. It, it, it was it's, so close. It's foul. It's all right. Really get him out of here. Uh, <laughs> I, I seem to be able to tolerate it. it. <laughs> get it it kind of smells in here. Oh. Bye, Jeff. Get it's, a towel out of here. I have a towel. Yeah, I, I, I'm about towel. to lose it. Wow. Are you feeling oh, nice. it out some more? If you're feeling oh, no, no, no more, no more, no, no more. Hey, hey, hey. We can't stop it. <laughs> you, you leveled me. <laughs> that is the worst thing I ever saw. Puke. They're all gonna puke. Howard, this is. I really wanted to meet you, but this is not oh, the way I wanted. Oh, oh. <laughs> she really, she really but I'm delivered. Glad I did it now. You really? You can I say something? It. I'm I not looking. I hope he, I hope he marinates in that puke. Can I? Can, can, can get the? What are you saying, Jeff? Roman shower. Lukewarm Roman showers. You gotta admit that was what you wanted. I, I yeah, well, yeah, that's what I've looked for all, all my all my life. You know, that's what I. This is what Roman showers is. All right, by the way, let me Vomiting say to, in front of all right, let me, all right, let me all right, say all right, to Jessica. Right. Jessica, first of all, you definitely delivered the goods more than anybody's ever done. Anybody? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm not looking only I because that an honor in some warped way. <laughs> I'm not looking because I don't want to throw up. And I guess I guess like unlike anybody else, I seem to tolerate the smell. I have it's a tolerance cool. for the smell, and I seem to I, I seem to like to uh, I enjoy it. Can I uh, wrap this up? <laughs> just say leave, <laughs> Casey. Get right, him out of Casey. here, Casey. But you gotta come. I mean, he's Jessica, drink. thank you. you gotta I want to. I want to give a shout out to my friend Gloria uh, and Sally. They, the they're my, my my fan if, if I could also give a shout out to my cousin Sarah and my sister Erica. All right, I need to take a break. And really? people that I love. Two proud people uh, should be proud of Eddie. Though. Okay, I appreciate the uh, the effort. It was a good, a very good. Uh, yeah, the thank effort. You. Thank you, Shall Jessica, I... and thank you. I mean, I'm not thanking you. Shall I lie here? <laughs> Let's go. No, oh, get no. out. <laughs> Wrap them up and so. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fire! Oh, Richie, you all right? Richie, for me, is freaking out. <sighs> Wipe yourself down, Jeff. Oh, oh, it's so sad. <laughs> Jeff, you're ruining those shorts. <laughs> yeah, where are you going to get another pair like that? Oof. Oh, my God. I have my own towel. Go, go. Goodbye. I'm, 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 oh, look at that towel. Oh. 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 Keep him away from the donuts. Casey. Casey. Oh. Casey. Get it all out of here. What? Dude, it smells so Get bad. Get that towel out of here. Get it out. 
I, I almost, I, I almost lost it. I almost. <laughs> and usually, usually I'm, I'm fine with this stuff. But I don't know why today? Get it like it smelled pure... so bad. It was all over his back, and it was. Oh. Uh, it smelled. Do you smell that? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get some I want to get it. Smell it. Team in here to. Do... Uh, I, I guess. All right. That's the last time we're doing that. Really. We should do it outside from now on, yeah. on the street. Yeah. In a dump. <laughs> I'm sure the city would be into that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll help him. Brian, what are we going to do with that? Somebody get some what? plastic, something. It's just got to get out of here. Oh. Crime scene. It's like a crime scene. CSI. It's like a crime scene. Oh. That was a bad idea. Oh. Yeah, Ralph. Oh, my God. <laughs> You don't even know. I, I can't imagine seeing that. I'm about to throw up here. You know, you really should be taken off the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was over the line. I think Jeff's funny, you know, like when he sits talking yeah, about Yeah, talking finished. is yeah. one thing. Then when they do it, it gets gross. But, you know, this is why Social Security needs to be reformed. Right. right. collecting. 700 Yeah, he's month. got all day to think about that. <laughs> he pays people for this? Yeah. Oh. 200 something bucks. 220. That's why I'm glad he plays the lottery. At least most of the money comes back to the state. Can, can you even can you even fathom how this this turns him on? It, well, like, he was aroused too. Oh yeah. Oh. Dude, I'm telling you, I saw. I'm worn out. <laughs> he was aroused before it happened. I know. Yeah, just thinking about it. I have to go home now. Oh. Thank you, Rachel. Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes, Rachel. Oh my God. I don't know what's freaking me out worse, his voice and how calm he is, or just the entire act. I'm I'm about to vomit. Oh. It's well, get gross. over here. Get over here. We need you. Yeah, yeah Jeff, <laughs> coming back. <laughs> no, no, no. I will never. I can How could she be so calm? How? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. Oh man. Just think, six cities didn't get to hear that. Yeah, yeah. you know, they were robbed. Exactly. <laughs> Can't believe it. What's our gain is Rochester's loss. <laughs> yes, Wendy the retard. Oh. Wendy? Hello? What happened? Mizzou? Mizzou, you there? What happened? Hey, Howard, your lunch is here. Ah. <laughs> yeah, please bring it over. Thank you. Tasty. <laughs> Hey, that, that'll be happening. <laughs> yes, Mizzou. Hey, I was laughing my butt off. I, I threw up, too. <laughs> I don't blame you. Just listening to that was unbelievable. Are we going to see that on E? Yeah. Is that uh, on e? I'll throw up again. They're saying it might be a primetime special. <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. This is uh, Martin. Yeah, Howard. Hey, I'm in Pittsburgh, man. The Sox ain't took you off the air, man. You might, you, might, you might want to rethink that after the last segment. <laughs> well, yeah, that was pretty disgusting, but I'm glad I got to hear it and nobody else did. Yeah. Well, hey, I just wanted to be left on hold, man, so I could listen a couple of bit, more minutes of the show. All right, hold on. Thanks. That's, that's what it's come down to, be left to listen on hold. Andy, you're on the air. Andy. Andy. Oh, uh, Colleen. Hey, Colleen. Colleen, calling from Pittsburgh. That was the most disgusting thing, and that's what I miss the most about you. No. Oh, Howard, that was great. Sorry, you guys can't hear I have hear tears us. in my eyes. My stomach hurts. I was gagging. <laughs> I thought it was nasty. Oh, it was nasty. <laughs> I love you, Artie. I love you. <laughs> Dennis, you're on the air. Howard. Yeah. Oh, my God. I thought that was disgusting. <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing so hard. I, I don't know whether to just laugh or throw up or both. <laughs> Don't let that guy on the show again, man. <laughs> How can I resist? Oh, my God. How can I resist? You know, we should be discussing the Patriots and their moves on the field. <laughs> I thought it was nasty. It looked really bad, too. Oh, it was, was uh, really the it worst. It looked like oh. Manhattan clam chowder. I'll tell you what, no, man, that was intense. <laughs> Not the well, white kind. You know, there were no. a couple of times I looked at it and said, did you have a lot of corn? It was oh. red. Oh, she was just... <laughs> that was intense. So, so Can they show uh, that on the show? Yeah. That's, in fact, <laughs> they like to show that on E. That's the Vomit <laughs> Channel. It, originally, it was going to be called V, not E. Was she was there? She was good at it. I'll and, and not, I mean, because she said she ate colorful things, <laughs> so you could really <laughs> see it. After the fashion police. It, was she was there? 
She was good at it. I'll and, and not, I mean, because she said she ate colorful things, <laughs> so you could really see it. After the fashion police, it's vomit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you know what fruity pebbles are? Yeah. They look like fruity pebbles. I don't want to talk about it. In orange juice. Frosty, you're on the air. Hey, Frosty. Hey, Howard. Hey, now. I just pulled over in front of a school bus full of kids and threw up in the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was it. the most disgusting thing I ever heard in my life. All I know is that uh, Baba Booey was on a plane coming back from some appearance. What? Wait, what? Nancy in traffic is throwing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy in traffic is throwing up. I don't you should be proud of yourself. I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> I almost lost. I almost upchucked. Well, it, it gets close every time he comes in here. Did you start to feel the wave? Hey, Mark. Oh, Howard, that was awesome, man. When's it going to be on E? And was she a young, wet bitch? She was cute, I thought. Did you yeah. think she was cute? I thought she was kind of cute. She was. Oh, Jeff Levy. She Put it this way. She's the Bo Derek of chicks like that. Yeah. Chicks will vomit. She's the Bo Derek of vomit. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Howard, any chance of getting Nancy Sirianni on there? I don't think I so. Doubt. I doubt it. I think we're done with that whole chapter in our lives. Yes, Mike. No, oh, Mike. All right. Yeah, I am, I'm exhausted. That takes everything out of me. Hey, Dennis. Oh, Dennis is gone. Yes, Captain. Captain Jenks. Hey, good morning, Howard. Good morning. I, I got so sick when that happened that I ran to my front porch because I couldn't make it out the, upstairs. And I threw up off my front porch, and I looked on the street, like coming down the street, the cars, and people were throwing up at their car windows. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever heard on the show. This just in, all of Baltimore just vomited. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, what? That was really close for me, Yeah. and I didn't even look. I didn't I know, look I didn't once. Look I, I looked. It was hearing it. Just you the looked? audio was enough. I had, I had to look. I looked, too. She was well, the best. Well, I turned at a really bad moment. <laughs> Because she was really going when I... I turned. saw it. I think on the fourth geyser, I started to lose her. Really? really? Okay. I wanted her to stop. She was. I know. She had a roll going the, there. She was letting it all go. The noises she made before it happened were disgusting. Yeah. Man. And that's why I thought it was safe to turn around. And then yeah. I looked. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> that was rough. It's like Niagara Falls over there. <laughs> why do we keep doing that? <laughs> because Jeff is so funny. And it's he great. keeps calling. Thank you. Because we have the right to be a jerk. <laughs> oh man, that's that. That was just that's the craziest thing. <laughs> Thank God for the show. No one would believe we really because for for years before we had a television show, people used to say, "I know you don't do any of those you things. Made it up. You make it a theater of the mind." Are those people real? <laughs> yeah. He kept it real. But just imagine that's your child. Imagine a child. How disgusting! <laughs> imagine a child. You Plus decided to have a baby, and Jeff came out. I don't know. What do you think? Well, seriously, what do you think is like a turning point in a person's life that would drive him to that? I don't know. Happened very early with him. He likes to be humiliated. We understand that, but I don't know any more than that. Uh, I maintain that I am a heterosexual. I, I go could, to a dominatrix. I could sort of try to get a psychological profile going right now, if you want me to. Yeah. Like I could, I could perhaps get a glimpse into what turned, but it would take me a long time. <laughs> Yeah, Jerry. Friend still has a sore throat. Oh, <laughs> damn yeah, it. That's why he's suing. But I saw the funniest score last night. Yeah. Are you talking about the Duke? Yeah. yeah. Well, I tuned in the game on CBS to watch Duke versus Alabama, right? Uh, yeah. And uh, th no game on. Alabama State. Here's the problem. Okay. Yeah, but, 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 I mean, wait, wait, how come wait, wait, it wasn't on? It was supposed it to go on at... It was on at 7.30. Because no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was? I saw it. Yeah. yeah. They show a little bit of the beginning. Get on the microphone, dude. You've been doing this long enough. <laughs> Sorry. Talking into the ceiling. Mm. No, I thought, you know. Come on, dude. Projecting. Here's the problem, okay? <laughs> they, they, they think it's not a closed game. Right. But if you have a bet on the game, right. it is a closed game. If you have so, thirty, you had thirty-four points, right? I was, I was winning thirty-four nothing with right. Alabama State. Th that's why it's a good game. Right. So why, they can't just not show it. But look, if they show that game and not show a game that's closer, they're they're admitting that gambling runs this country. I mean, right. and it does. It, yeah, it was uh, it was a huge blowout from the beginning, so they stopped showing it. So you just got to see updates. What was the final score? Duke won by thirty-five points. Ah, no, <laughs> ninety-six. 
31. Uh, 61. 61. Wow. I'm like counting them. Like, How <gasps> And great. I showed a score at the at the top corner there, and I'm st I'm doing. I had to watch it five times before I did the math properly. I'm at 61 <laughs> plus 30 plus, plus you know, and uh, yeah. So, oh my God! Do you think they just scored that extra basket to just screw the point spread? I, I don't know how these guys figure out these. Can you? You must have been sweating bullets. Okay, listen, well, first of all, yesterday, gambling wise, the floodgates opened. Can I say something? Uh, I, uh, I I got a little bit of a frenzy yesterday. What did you do? I'm doing great, though. I'm doing fantastic. What happened? You know what? So we have the meeting yesterday, right? <laughs> First, and then i got to go to Mike Walker. Yeah, we got the meeting yesterday, right? right. First game starts at 12.15. Uh, 11 no, 12.15, I think it is. Right. About so, the so the meeting ends, I guess it's like quarter 12. Artie must be shaken. Because as soon as the meeting's over, he's out in the hallway on his cell phone. <laughs> and I hear him going, I guess, you know, you're not allowed to gamble money, so it's a code. And he's like, I'll take Alabama State 200 times. I'll take this 300 times. What's well, 200 times? Well, no, I bet. Well, see, it, it's because... All right. <laughs> 200 times is $1,000. Right. But you could, so you, the, the easier way to say that is a dime. Mm-hmm. But uh, or a nickel for five hundred. Uh, but Which my bookie doesn't like that. My guy is a landscaper, and mm -hmm. he was <laughs> on a job. Oh right. my! And there was like a snowblower in the background, so I was yelling at him, and uh, he couldn't hear anything I was saying. So I said a dime, and he said what? Di I said, One time he got. I said two hundred times, and then. Uh, and then he finally got what I was talking about. I had to yell a few different... You probably bet $20 million. Yeah, you don't know what you bet. <laughs> no, not with this guy. <laughs> but Artie's not even down the hallway privately. guy's a landscaper and a bookie? Yeah, he's not a big-time guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so his bookie business isn't doing that well. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, he, he, pays, he pays for some of his kids' schooling with it. Right. I have a... I, the, I, that game was Florida. I had Florida. I lost. So that's minus 1,100. I had St. Joe's given twenty three and a half. Nice. And they only won by nineteen. Ugh. Mm. That's minus eleven hundred. I bet UConn given twenty, they only won by seventeen. You lost. That was only a nickel. And what so that's, you... that's minus five fifty. Okay. Because uh, you gotta pay the VIG. Here's the worst part. Stanford uh Texas San Antonio. Stanford's given twenty five, I take Texas San Antonio. Same exact thing. <laughs> Twenty six points. Stanford won by twenty six. Oh, what a now day! Now you're thinking this is like an omen. So after the Duke game, I'm down. I was down thirty four hundred. Right. <laughs> so in just like an absolute frenzy loser mess. <laughs> you got there's on the one phone. last game at nine thirty. I get the guy, and uh, he's all tired from snow blowing all day. I, I get him out of bed, and I put three grand on Seton Hall. Oof. Right. Oh, they must love you. Okay, so... Because <laughs> you're going to now make up for your big loss. Right. So, Seton Hall is getting three from Arizona. Okay. I start watching the game, pacing in my bedroom. <laughs> what time is it now? Now it's like almost 10. Right. 10, 10, about 10.30, Seton Hall's down by 14 points. Right. I lay down, and I fall asleep. Mm -hmm. I wake up today at 4 a.m. I get up, I throw ESPN on, because they have the updates on the back. I find out... That Seton Hall won, baby! Oh. A big cover! Uh. Seton Hall won outright! Wow! So I'm kicking ass. I'm only down 400 bucks. That's kicking ass. Kicking oh, ass. God. I'm kicking ass. All I, all I it's a good day. Artie only lost 400. All I lost was the VIG. Wow. So you started the day. You should have covered the vig, dude, with the thirty-four hundred. I know I would have. do it. I just put. The, I just figured, you know, I'll make myself even. Right. But I would have been down. I would have been. Four hundred minus four hundred is even to you. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. So you're even. When do you tell people I'm even? I say I'm even. Though. Yeah. <laughs> but he would have been down sixty-four hundred, sixty-seven hundred. Wow. Big swing. <laughs> now, Artie, that would have been a bad Thursday. If, if you're down 6,700, is today's first bet six grand? No, no. What Dude, it's idiot? such a 50 50 chance with your bets, and you lose almost every one of them. Well, yeah. Can I say something weird that's going on in the office? Jason, last week, started piggybacking the opposite of Artie's bets. Well, how, yeah, how'd how he do? He well, he won a bunch of games yesterday. Right. And he probably didn't know about Seton Hall, so well, he probably won a ton of money. Especially that Duke game. As soon as he heard already taking Duke, he took the other team. Right. Right. See, I also had Syracuse for a nickel. I had UTEP for a nickel. I don't even know what UTEP is. I just <laughs> I, University I, of Texas El Paso. Okay. Why do you bet it if you don't even know it? Because it just makes it more fun. Right. <laughs> but 
CBS has got to sell off some of these games somewhere. I could, they they don't cover the big. The, I know. So I mean, I, I was trying to watch Duke. They, they 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 just they didn't. They were showing game like the Princeton game. They were showing Princeton. I know. I try to Texas Princeton. They're showing, and you just get updates of that Duke score. And right. Duke you're did. trying to watch that little square. At one point, Duke was up by forty. Why don't they, they have like a guy like you, a hardcore degenerate, sitting there calling which games they should be covering? Well, don't they have a? There's not a channel you can buy. I think they sold some. To Direct TV, right? If you get Direct TV, right. you don't get they every have game. A March Madness thing. Right. You don't have Direct TV? No. So, bro, come over my place. You could put it on. Oh, thanks. I'll be. Oh, over he'll be at your house at. <laughs> I don't care. Sit there and watch TV. Night. I don't Actually, care. See, today's Friday. We're, so, me and some of the guys here were going. I'll, I'll be drunk by eleven thirty. All right, will you? <laughs> we're gonna go out and bet the game. Hey, I got a tape of one of Artie's friends. <laughs> what? St. Patrick's Day. And, and who is St. Patrick? St. Patrick chased the snakes out of them and invented whiskey. <laughs> uh, do you think gays should be allowed to march in the St. Patrick's Day parade? Yes. Hell no! Yes. Hell no, gays should go. Do you Absolutely not. Do you, do you think the Irish are unfairly stereotyped as drunks and alcoholics? Well, we are drunks and alcoholics, so I can't really say that we're unfairly stereotyped as drunks and alcoholics. What can you say about them? That we'd like to drink a lot and we'd like to have fun. <laughs> that was like at 11 o'clock in the yeah, afternoon. Yeah, that's how Artie will be in a couple of hours. I mean, 11 o'clock in the morning. I just want to say I don't agree with that guy's views on gays. All right, let's do Mike Walker. What should I do here? Should I do the chicks from The Apprentice? Well, if they're yeah, they here live, you don't want them sitting there too long. They yeah. Right. Fall asleep or something. All right, here's Katrina, Erica, and Christy, who are real good looking in FHM. I mean, I, I, ne I never watched the show except for once, so I don't even remember. Yeah, them. I couldn't remember one from there. Too many people when I was watching. I guess I should have read the notes on them, but. I don't know the show that well either, but uh, I've seen them. I love it. Artie's giving them a standing ovation. <laughs> well, I, have to, well, I just have that crick in my back, Rob. I... <laughs> yeah. It's Baba Booey. <laughs> They're in the front green, so it could take one minute. They're on their way up. Oh. I thought we were waiting a break. Yeah, I just saw the time was 7.30, and I figured I'll do them. I'll do all three of them, and then... Well, aren't you the man? Yeah. Tomorrow, Chris Rock will be here. Daryl Hannah and Quentin Tarantino. Hey, now. Later this week, Rebecca remains Stamos, newly single, and needing a shoulder to cry on very badly. Hey, now. Well, the other day, I saw her walking the runway for the premiere of The Punisher, and she didn't talk to reporters. She just walked through. I don't think I'm in any condition to talk to you people. <laughs> I don't really think right now is appropriate time. And then what do you do when, you know, like all of these articles are coming out where you were talking about how great your marriage and, is? Oh, whoa. Holy Christ. Pleasantly surprised. Look at these broads. Oh, yeah. Hello, how ladies. How did Trump let these girls go? They look like... Uh, like Trump's movies. losing his touch, man. <laughs> I would have definitely taken one of these girls and made her the apprentice. Absolutely. He's sitting there with two guys in the finale. I'm trying to figure out who I'm most attracted to. Uh, nice triple package. They look like Playboy chicks. That's what I'm telling you. I thought it was like Charlie's Angels they were promoting. The hell's Thanks, going? Robin. <laughs> right, let me figure out who's who. Because unlike, unlike, unlike the rest of America, I haven't been watching the show because... I'm all caught up in my own Michigas. <laughs> uh, Katrina. That's me. That's you. Erica. And Christy. Hi. Hey now. <laughs> hey now. You wearing a Brooklyn T-shirt, Christy? You from Brooklyn? Uh, I'm a big Brooklyn fan. Are you from Brooklyn? No, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, it turns me on. <laughs> Where are you other two brothers from? New York. Nice. Mm -hmm. Miami. So I mean, I guess everyone's asked you this already, but I haven't. So. You won't take the money from Playboy to show no, you? No. No. Why? Because you're like all oh, business women? It's really difficult, and it contradicts everything we've tried so hard to prove in the mm -hmm. business world. You know what? We thought about it. It just follows your name around more so than anything else. Let me ask you something. Here's the way I look at it. I mean... Are you really business women? Yeah, I mean, let's oh, be honest. Yes, oh, we are. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's where they found us. I thought I love it. FHM is no more business-like than Playboy. Did you see the shoe? It's pretty I, classy. It, yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, so listen. You're all young girls. How old are you guys? 27. I'm not bad. Are you 27 too? Uh-huh. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> are you or are you not? Yeah, that's close. Well, how old are you? That's <laughs> close. Oh, you don't give your age? Just, one, of, one of you guys is 30, right? I'm 30. Oh, big deal. That's good. Oh, that's that's nothing, baby. I'm Howard, proud of it. Yeah. By yeah. the way, I should mention that you can see one of these women naked. Where? Where? Uh, oh. Christy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, Howard. On MrSkin.com, Christy was in an episode of The Wretched Diaries where, that I watched yesterday where she swims nude and I... Bring so, honey, you're not kill a body. No, 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 what no. kind of businesswoman are you? I own a restaurant in Santa Monica and I own properties. I have a broker's license. But you're not uptight about being naked. No, I'm proud of that episode no, you that look you right. saw. You should be proud of it. And it was um, eight years ago when I have an acting career. It was the very first thing I did. And I'm, I am... But that's one of the reasons I didn't do Playboy. How much does Playboy offer you to get naked? We haven't disclosed that amount. Why? <laughs> It's big, Just it's because it was a good number. It was a good number. And we had to think twice about it. But Over 250000 No. 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 Oh, because oh. for that, you're doing it, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. That yeah. was about the line. We kept negotiating. It kept going higher and higher. And still, once I saw that number that I probably would have done, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. Do you negotiate together as a group? Or is it an individual <laughs> negotiation? No, you have to, it's, I mean, they don't, they, I guess there are certain people. They wanted apprentice, want gr- no, they wanted apprentice girls, and then they started negotiating maybe with two of us, and then they added three, and I mean, they were trying to see how much, how what? many girls they could get and for how much money. They were definitely trying to be hardballs with us. All right, now, but. Chrissy, you were off, I mean, you've been naked in, in Red Shoe Diary, so right. when they approached you. I didn't actually talk to them. At I was, all. I was, she was right the away. only one that didn't even pick up yeah, the phone. exactly, she didn't. I don't get it. I'm telling you, if I was hot like you guys and I had a good body, so people see, see your boobs. They may do regret I, it. I, uh, do I think right any now. less of 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 Erica because I saw her boobs? But I wouldn't be Erica. I'd be Erica that posed in Playboy. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, yes, you would. Yeah. No way. No, 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 no chick that posed in yeah. Playboy. Yeah. Well, you follow our name. But, but but people are going to think you're kooks anyway for being in a reality show. Yeah, come on. No, because it's a business reality show, and we get over 23 million viewers. It's a smart show. <laughs> but from what I hear, you know, like having not watched uh, every episode, uh, what I see and what I hear in the press is that there were tons of cat fights. Yeah, you know what? That's so funny because I always get mad at that question. We had one woman in the show, Omarosa. The black chick? Yeah. Who's the one she that got accused of being a racist? Yeah, America. 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 So You're going to take the lie detector test? I got a guy. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's right, do go, it. go out yes. there now and get hooked up with that Tori. We'll listen in. Talk to you? Is this how that works? No, no, no. You'll come back you'll come in. Back. Right. You'll come back in. Go out there. If I'm nervous from the show, what did she say? You're going to be so proven. You know what? We support Erica 110%. She'll be proven right then. That'll be the end of it. this woman. She's insane. She's got some killer bot. Look at these chicks. What's going on? What's Should I say out of the three of you which one I really want to have sex with most, or is that rude? <laughs> no. We think you're going to say it anyway. Who do you think I want to have sex with most? Katrina's a young No, you think, it, you think it's you. <laughs> I actually don't wasn't you? even thinking Christy, about that. Christy, you do think that. Howard, I, I don't <laughs> think that. Maybe because I knew it up easily. No, I'm not going to tell you which one no, I want to have sex with. Beth will get upset. Mm. But I'm just thinking... So when are you getting married, Howard? So sorry, Robin. <laughs> oh, Hell sorry. no. Not me. Are any of you thinking of dating me? Because I could... Yeah, because maybe he'll marry you. <laughs> maybe I'll marry you guys. <laughs> We're actually both engaged. Are you really? Yes, yeah. we are. Mm. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, bye, get out of here. Yeah. Good appearance. <laughs> Who are you engaged to, Trump? No. No. Did any of you ever think that you wanted to have sex with Trump? Would you have... No. 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 No way. So you guys, so your whole angle is your businesswomen. We are, and... But we do FHM think, because I'm sorry. Well, don't wait. you think you've been labeled business women who cry, business women who fight with each other, business women who can't get along? I think in a way that's kind of reality. You're not going to get along with everybody. For the most part, for example, I could only speak for myself, but I get along with most of the people on the show. There's a couple that I won't be inviting for dinner anytime soon, but you can't get along with everybody that you work with. See, but with. my point is, do Playboy because anyone who's on a reality show, like in my mind, is a little bit off. Right. I think we're all a little crazy, to be right. honest with you. So if you're worried about your image, mm-hmm. you don't go on a reality show. If you're really serious about business, you don't get there evaluated and, and filmed by people. Everyone knows you guys want to be famous a little bit, somewhere well, in the back of your mind. You, we never knew that it was going to be this big. Right. I think that um, It was still going to be on TV. Right. Yes, and it was a calculated risk. It was really, I was really skeptical about doing the whole process. But what, what's your regular job? I'm a real estate agent in Miami. So you're real successful at it? Yeah, I've, been doing, a, it. I've been doing it for eight years. You're making over six figures? Yes, I am. Katrina so, does very well. I, I do very well because I'm passionate about what I do. And by the way, Howard, I'm from Miami, and you're no longer there, and it's very depressing. Thank you very much. Because I actually got through college listening to you every morning. So. Oh, you're sweet. Mm. Uh, I wish you were naked right now. I'm but Playboy. I'm saying maybe the Playboy thing could change your image from, you know, the caddy girls to, you know. To the naked ones? To the naked <laughs> girls. girls. To the naked caddy girls. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. And Christy, you definitely should do it. Oh. You've already been naked somewhere. Yeah. 
And honey, you're smoking hot. She is. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you. And thank you. Sh uh, Katrinka should do it too. Katrinka. <laughs> Christy, what's Katrina? your uh, what's your fiance do? He's in the green room. He's um he owns an advertising agency in Los Angeles. No, that's He's gay. a New Yorker. Though. That's a gay uh, occupation. He sounds like, oh, he's like one of those metrosexual. <laughs> he sounds, he sounds right. a little fruity. He what's is your, a huge Howard fan. That's a little fruity. <laughs> no, 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 no. What about the broad who wouldn't come in here? What's her name? Erica. Oh, what's the one that oh, wouldn't come in here, Amy. 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 What's her problem with me? I'm a dirty guy or something. Uh, yeah, I have my own opinion. Well, he's <laughs> well, doing other press this morning. We're well, going to find out in a minute whether Erica used the N word. Yeah. I Ed, say yes. It's Ed, guilty. Ed Torian, the best lie detector guy in the country, is going to ask her a series of questions, and we'll know. He's we, we already know here? the answer. Yeah, we, we already, already we were there. We know the answer. Why do you think the uh, black woman made up those? Uh, if she's a she Looney did. Tune. I mean, she, and she's trying to get all the press that she could get, so she's making up stuff left and right. Wait, did you just say she's a Looney Coon? A Looney Tune. <laughs> you said Coon. Oh, oh, I heard Katrina <laughs> say Coon. <laughs> no, a Looney Tune. You said Looney Coon. <laughs> you better take a lie detector. She's a Cooney Loon. That's right. <laughs> all right, let's uh, find, let me go find out what's happening in, in the, the um, lie detector room? No, it's called the Ed Torian Honorary Grill Room. Oh, I think what's happening is Ed Torian's hitting on Erica. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, wouldn't Eric. it have been funny if he, we, we tuned in and Ed had her up on the desk? Ed yeah. is a total pro. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to tell you, we're like uh, a minute away from doing this, but there's nothing funnier than watching Ed try to get that chain around her breasts. Uh, oh, I love that. Like, I, I got to touch, I don't know. Tim, <laughs> doesn't Ed let me help him with that? Oh, so All right. So, all right, let me take a couple of phone calls then while we're waiting. And we're going to find out the results right here from Ed Torian. This is so exciting. It is exciting. It is. This is a chance yeah, for her to clear in. Finally, 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 Howard, it's, it's finally about getting through. to you. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll solve Maybe this. Maybe he's asking so many questions, we should have just come in here in the first place and taken this thing. So I go out. you guys stay away from Amorosa? She yes. stays away from us. We've been in town all weekend. We haven't seen her. So the, the whole cast gets together, and we haven't seen Amorosa. Do you think all. she really heard the N-word, or she just completely... In her head. In her head, I mean. No. Do you no. think she's lying outright, or do you think she's... I think she is. You do. I, Was it I strategy, or... Let me tell you something. I was her roommate, so I, I feel like I know Marosa very well. And the second day there, she told me that she felt very lonely because of her race. Well, I'm a Hispanic woman, and I never once... No kidding. You're yeah. Hispanic? Yeah, no oh, one ever knows give me that. A break. But I'm Cuban, and no one ever... I mean, I was born here, but no one... Honey, you're whiter than I am. I am. I'm Actually, now Hispanic. I'm tan because I got a fake tan. <laughs> so did you for the press? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Christy and I went yesterday. What's your fiancé do? He's in commercial real estate. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a real man's joke. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't know any man who does that. <laughs> yeah, a real man sits behind a radio desk and says stupid things. You're goddamn right. Fights the government. Yeah. Now, by the way, do you realize that we are in the most incredible time? They, they, like, right now, when have you ever seen a disc jockey fight the United States government. Absolutely. That's I think about weird. that all the time. Thank you. And look at you, how you're fighting the government and you're doing the show. And I'm with my chicks. Time. Yeah. I was listening to you all morning and I'm a big supporter. Do any of you girls want to defy the government by having sex with me right now? <laughs> I mean, like, maybe not all the way, but... Thank you. Oh, Jesus there's a sex. We have a volunteer. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Christy. Uh, yeah. You walk Just, in the room, you're the chick I want. Oh. I noticed that. I noticed you looking at her, Howard. I did. <laughs> but we don't want to make... It. I'm don't, so happy. You're probably used to that, though. We don't want to make the ad executive mad. That's my type right there. When she uh, walked in, I knew that was your type. Yeah, that's you my were type. saying, do you want to Very know? Much I was so. like, I could tell already. Yeah, I saw the chemistry right away. You didn't see it either. <laughs> <laughs> there was I, a certain chemistry. It was all on your part. Most girls just see... You don't see the chemistry. I'm the one who sees it. Well, just to be different, I'm going to say I'm attracted to Katarina. Well, Katrina. Oh, Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> Katrina. 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 No wonder you have no rap. Steve, you're on the air. Hey, how are you doing? Just got to say that the, um, I want to say hi to the ladies. Tell hi. you guys that The Apprentice is the best show on television. Thank, Thank you yeah. so much for and your support. Down. Yeah, I can't believe I blew it by not watching the episodes. But do you realize I, now Trump is the only star of the He episode. really is. You he's the biggest winner of all. He is. Financially, too. He's yes. doing so well. Yeah. Right. Did you guys get paid at all? <laughs> Peanuts? No. And we haven't even gotten our check yet. That's what I'm saying. Breath. I don't know why you think it's going to benefit you. You've got to do the Playboy thing. <laughs> Yeah, at least make some money. Katrina, out of it. it's all about the money, right? Yeah, you know what? We did it for the experience. It was a surreal experience. I would do it all over again. Steve, what's your question? Uh, well, I just want to say I can't wait for tomorrow night. And uh, Katrina, don't take this the wrong way, but my comments to you: um, in the several episodes, you mentioned to uh, Donald and a bunch of the other apprentices that you wanted that you're a number one real estate agent, and it wasn't because of your body. Give me a break. If I was if I was looking for real estate in Miami, and you were my broker. 
I'd be looking at every building <laughs> in Florida. Thank you. I'm very flattered. But actually, women are the primary decision makers in my industry, so I can't really use sex to the extent that you think I may use it. But I do. I, I'm, I'm flattered. I got to yeah. tell you something. I, I mean, I've gone to look for houses, and if you get a hot woman showing you a house, sometimes it could work against them too. You think, yeah, they don't know anything. It, it's so true. Yeah, yeah. I'll look at a but house with her, but I'm not going to look at more houses. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to spend a yeah, million dollars because she's hot. Right. The thing, is, the thing is, is that you may look at more houses, but they're wasting your time because obviously their intentions are not to buy a place. So. Yeah, because like. like if I, I'm looking at a house with you. I'm like, hey, do you mind wearing a shorter skirt with the uh, when we go tomorrow? But also, maybe you're going to spend more money on a house. You bump up the price because you're trying to impress her. Is everyone now ready? Yes. yes. To find out whether Erica used the N word. I now turn your attention to the greatest lie detector man of all time, <laughs> Mr. King Ed Tor, the king of all lie detectors, <laughs> my hero, that was good combo. Mr. Ed Torian. Erica, how are you? Erica. Okay. What do I do? Can put I put this a... on your ears? I can't because. Oh, I'll do it for you. Hey, guys. Are you guys there? Ed? Hey. Yeah. No, it's Erica. Erica. I have I have one of you listening to Ed. Is it Ed? Yeah, Ed. And one guys, one of you listening to you. All right, guys. listen. Oh, okay. We yeah. are going to quiet down. We're going to let Ed. Hi, Ed. Hi, how you doing? We're going to let Ed do, ask you the questions. Let's clear this up once and for all. The girls here support you. They say you never use the N-word. I didn't. She what didn't. you need to do is answer yes or no, as Mr. Torian has told you. Okay. Ed Torian knows the truth. He is the best I've seen at this. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks a lot. All That's right. scary. Here okay. we go. Gotcha. Is your first name Erica? Yes. <laughs> it is today Wednesday. Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, did you fail already? <laughs> did you, do you live in New York State? I do, yes. Yes. That's right. Do you intend to answer the truth? Yes. She says yes. Have you ever referred to a black person as a nigger? No. Interesting. An emphatic no. An emphatic no. Have you ever called a black person a black person a nigger? No. Interesting. Emphatic again. <laughs> Isn't that the same question? <laughs> just like Have you word. called a person a black person a nigger in the last twelve months? No. <laughs> <laughs> what about the last three months? Did you call Omarisa a nigger? No. <laughs> no. She said no defiantly. <laughs> Have you ever referred to Omarisa as a nigger? No. Omarisa. <laughs> Omarosa. Omarosa. This is very serious. This is very right. serious. Yes, you're not taking it. <laughs> Omarisa. Very Omarosa. No. Right. Have you ever called Omarosa a nigger in your mind? No. <laughs> no. Interesting. Making the distinction about the mind. Oh, my goodness. This is Mr. Eckler. <laughs> Would you marry a black person? <laughs> Probably yeah. not. No. Yeah, say yes or no. No. Okay, good. Interesting. Oh. The answer was no, that doesn't mean okay. no. Okay. Are no. you a racist? <laughs> no. She is not a racist, she claims, but we'll find out. Do you think blacks are intellectually inferior to whites? No. The answer was no. Yeah, Mr. Edtorian could barely get out the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, Do I you could, think white people are smarter than black people? No. An emphatic no again. Would you be upset if you had a child and married a black person? No. Interesting. That question is a key question. I don't even understand it. Me neither. <laughs> do you get annoyed when black... <laughs> uh, uh what is this? Do you get... Do you get... <laughs> do you get annoyed when black people... <laughs> out into movies. Are what? Are what into movies? <laughs> no. But is that out right, I'll question? say it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Do you get annoyed when black people are loud in the movie? No. Okay, good. Do you get annoyed when black people are loud in the movie? I don't know if Ed knows the question. <laughs> I wish I could hear you guys. All right. Do you get annoyed when black people are loud in the movies? No. I do. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm sorry. That's where she gets annoyed by you. Yeah, That's annoyed all. by me, I'm sorry. A little. <laughs> okay, do you think black people are lazy? No. 
If you lived in the 1800s, would you... <laughs> this is too much. Do I pass or fail? Come on, Ed. All right. If you lived in the 1800s, <laughs> if you lived in the 1800s, would you have owned a black person? No, I, no, I don't think so. No. No. The answer was no. We all would have. I would oh, excuse them. me, Artie. Who said you would have that? <laughs> what are you guys money? saying? I would have had a whole stable. <laughs> I mean, it's the option that you were doing so well. I would have Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel a general mistrust toward Jews? No. <laughs> We're throwing the Jew question. I dated a Jewish boy. He was like my first love. All right. Okay. That's a lie. Okay. We're going out to another set of questions. All right, go ahead. What the, where are we going now? Have you ever fantasized sexually about Donald Trump? No. <laughs> Have you ever had a lesbian experience? No. Interesting. I thought these were strictly race questions. What's the sex stuff? Shh. Or Almost through. <laughs> Have you ever fantasized sexually about another woman? No. Hmm, I don't believe that. I think that's why. Find out in a minute when we get the results. Do you enjoy the smell of your farts? Oh. All right. No. Enough with these questions. <laughs> right, we're almost through. We're almost, no, through. No. almost through. Almost through. Almost through. Are you sexually attracted to Howard Stern? I just met him. Well, are you sexually attracted? Yes or no? I don't think so. Not yet, Howard. Uh, <laughs> now you yeah. got to tell me yes or no. No. Sorry, oh, Howard. It's because I'm black. Yeah. I'm Jew. <clears throat> You're I'm a Jew. black Jew. I'm a black Jew. <laughs> Half Jew. Okay. Are you, se are you sexually attracted to Robin Quivers? <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's a lie. Who can resist my Robin? Well, she doesn't want to marry a black person. How many more? Two more. <laughs> Do you own a vibrator? No. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should get one. I don't believe that. <laughs> is that machine even on? <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. It's Mr. Editorial. <clears throat> Do you think blacks scream racism, racism oh, when they want to chisel something out of somebody? <laughs> yes. If I understood your question correctly. I didn't even understand it. No, I don't understand it. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. I think she's got another purpose. Ed, ask right. if she's attracted to you. All right, would you have sex with Donald Trump to win? <laughs> what? No. No. <laughs> Do you get nervous when black people walk behind you on a dark, lonely street? No. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't. I thought there was only two more questions. You can't Ed lies. Ed lies. Ed lying. <laughs> Are you turned on by my fox? Have you answered all questions truthfully? Yes. I if you'd have sex with Ed Torian. Would you have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Right. No. <laughs> no. Now, Ed. Did I pass? Yeah, Ed. Well, there's a couple we'll... of questions there's a problem with. Uh -oh. Which one? Oh. All right. I'll, I'll explain to you when we go. All right. Wait, no, this is important. Which so, one? Ed, do we have to? Hey, Ed, do okay. we have to wait for the results? Yeah. You want me to come in? I'll come in with the results you, now. You got them right now? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. All right. All right. Okay. Come on king, in. get out of here. Come on All right. Ed. He is the king. Ed Torian. <laughs> wow, I love that guy. That's fantastic. I like Ed. Wow. Immediate results for that. We are about to find out. There were if what problems with some questions. Amorosa. Is that her name? Amorosa. Omarosa. You can call her whatever you want, though. Whatever. <laughs> we will find out. If Erica, in fact, used the N word. And a few other things. That's right. I think she lied on the 1800s and the farts question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you turned down by my sports jacket? <laughs> what about you, Chris? Do you ever have lesbian sex? Look at you. I'm not hooked up. No. No, I've never had lesbian sex. You're lying. I haven't. Really? No. You've never had any other girls? Good job, sweetie. I could tell Katrina has. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, you're a straight arrow. Hello. I'm back. Good wow, job. Wow, you good job. Good you job. stood up to every yeah, question. You can take a drilling. That's I hope so. so. Well, that's what happens when you have nothing to hide. <laughs> you got oh, some hi. killer bod, all of you. She does, doesn't I do, she? I do not. Not compared to these ladies. You're no. kidding. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. You're I don't. selling yourself short. Trust me. I sit next to them and I feel like a little oh, a mini me. Are She's you engaged too? No. Oh, I have good. a boyfriend. Oh, do you? Yeah. What's he do? He's in sales for a. It's not. It's a little boring. Bankruptcy management division. Of I get it. 
<laughs> hey Ed, how you doing? How you been? All right, you've you've done so something here. There are a few questions that I I'm I messed up on. You did very know. well. Yeah, probably the sex question. You lied oh, about. So I might have. <laughs> Mr. Torian. All right. What is the best way to do this? Do you want me to announce the question? You can tell us whether it's true well, or false. I'll go through the chart. Okay. I can't believe you said you're which sex ones American. <laughs> well, hold on. I can't hear Ed. Hold on a second. I'll I'm tell sorry. You which one she passed and which one she failed. All right. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <coughs> Mr. Ed Torian. We're right. hearing an analysis now. Right. All right, go ahead. She was truthful about her name. Okay. That's what I'm going to know. Right. And she lives in New York State, and she's never referred to a black person as a nigger. She told the truth about that. There you go. There you go, baby. That's the bottom line. Thank you for that, Ed. And have you ever called a black per person a nigger? She was truthful. Truthful. Okay, right. that's important. Right. All right. And um, in the last 12 months, have you ever called a black person a nigger? She said, no, she's truthful. She's truthful. Right. She'd have to be because she she's never called. Yeah, yeah, yeah I right. think that right. would be the case. We should right. have done this months ago. <laughs> right, because right. ended the whole controversy. And Mr. Ed uh, Torian knows the truth. Right, okay. So go on, Ed. Did you call Omarisa a nigger? Oh. Right. Well, I don't even know. Whatever her name is. Who cares? Right. Osama, if you want to. No, she didn't call her that. She was truthful. She was truthful. There you go. Oh, look this at you. This is what should have happened on Oprah. Yeah, vindication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And the other call Omarosa. A nigger in your mind. <laughs> uh -oh. Truthful. Okay. Truthful. Truthful. Wow. You might be the most non-racist person I ever no, met. Honestly, if you right. knew me, you'd know. I'm oh, not, I know you. funny. I can right. tell from your body you're not a racist. Put all the ones down. Are you a racist? She was truthful. Do you think blacks are intellectually inferior to whites? Uh, she was truthful. But there's one all the way down. Do you get annoyed when black people are allowed in the movies? That was my fault. Do you think black people are lazy? There's one question here that she had a problem with. Which one? If you lived in the 1800s, would you yeah. own the black person? <laughs> I didn't under, I was like, I don't know, because maybe, maybe at the time, I don't know. Right? You know, that's a misleading that's, question that's because misleading. that's misleading because you don't know what you would have done in the 1800s. You don't even exactly. know where you right. were. Your right. situation right. Is. Yeah. I was the only one who knew how to answer that. Yes, I would. I but would you're know. assuming something about your situation. Yes. You could have been in some place else and not had any money. All we're saying, I would have had some money. All we're saying, like, is, I know that. It's the options there. You might say, all right, I'll. If it's just you know, you're putting it on the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's probably thinking, if it's Denzel Washington, why not? I'll take him home and I'll use him. I'll take him 100%. That's right. I'm a Russo. He's not leaving. Right. Right. I want to know right. if, she'd rather have, if she'd have sex with me and you, Ed. <laughs> not, right, go ahead. I'm not in that jacket. Do you feel a general mistrust towards Jews? She was uh, deceptive on that question. Really? Oh. Yeah. Wait, that's strange because I have a boyfriend. My first love of my life was a Jewish kid. You didn't trust him. That's why you dumped him. That's no, right. He went, oh, I could not. He was such a, a good kid. He was too. deceptive. Don't feel he bad. Most people don't trust that's the Jews. Um, it's all right. Yes, go ahead. Strange, right. And she's fantasized sexually about Donald Trump. She oh, she has. Oh, I have. Oh. Oh. You have. Oh. 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 That's strange. It's true. I'm not attracted to Donald Trump. Well, uh oh, I don't know. She's have you ever fantasized sexually about another woman? She told me no, but she was deceptive on that. Oh. Of course she has. Oh. And you know what? I know she has. Yeah. I can look in her eyes and know she has. You've okay, thought about it. That was the one question I'm like, I'm going to get. I might get a little tick on that one. <laughs> all right. Ed knows. But not. That's, all right. Go ahead. All right. Do you enjoy the smell of your father? Yeah, oh. that's key. Yeah, she failed that one. No. She <laughs> failed. I know it. You love it. I laughed. Trust Excuse me. me. I did not like the smell Excuse of my me, darling. <laughs> You know you'll. Everybody likes to smile. Deal with it. Don't. I love my father, yeah. and you're gonna love him when I'm in bed with you later. All right, go ahead. Okay. And are you sexually attracted to Howard Stern? She told me no, but she was what we call deceptive. Uh, of course. Sexually attracted. You're turned on. I'm you're giving him a bit. wink right now. Why don't you step into the ladies' room right over there? I'll meet you in there. And she's sexually attracted to Robin Quivers. Oh my God! I knew it. <laughs> she's everywhere. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Wow. Which proves she's not a racist. Yeah, but exactly. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, I think we have proof positive, Gary. She said yeah, she's going to ten She's going to do you. That'd be even better. <laughs> what else are you finding there, Ed? Would you have sex with Donald Trump to win? She was. She said she told me no, but she was. What does that mean to win? To win? To win the contest. 
I, oh, she, 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 you would have. Yeah. She would have. No. no. I don't want the job that bad. And do you get nervous when black people walk behind you on a dark, lonely street? She told me no, but she was... Uh, Everybody said, does. Really? Yeah. Well, whenever so someone... Because, can, because whenever I mean, when someone is behind you. Anybody walks behind that's me. That's right. right. That's why so she said yes. You are, said, t- yes, you are yes. telling yes. the truth. Yeah, that's true. Right. Unless, it's a, unless it's a black person you own. Right, Eric? <laughs> right. Behind you. In the 1800s. In the 1800s, you would not have been nervous. Oh, I probably should have been. Well, Ed, the final question, of course, is would she want you and uh, no, I don't think so. You don't think uh, so. Uh, what, does the, what does the tape say? Though? The tape machine blew up at that point. <laughs> that I missed such good dialogue. Mr. Ed Torian, you are the best. We're listening to you the entire you're, time. You're you are considered the top guy, and now I know why. Thanks a lot. You Thanks, gave me the Ed, answers I, I needed it. to know. Thank you, Ed. You want great. This? Does she want this? Uh, Actually, you, you know what? You should yeah, take it as a souvenir. Yeah, yeah. they made it. It's proof. Well, girls, you are well, delightful. You. Your okay. cover of FHM, the inside pictures, beautiful. Oh, and we're going to have a signing on Friday. Now, what is that about? Tower Records. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. On uh, at Columbus Circle. Is it Columbus? No, yeah, Lincoln at, Center. At 1 o'clock. Tower mm. Records, Lincoln Center, 66 and Broadway. Friday. Oh, 1 o'clock. Oh, Friday. One. Take care, Ed. Bye, Ed. Hey, uh, Katrina, did you announce the winner of The Apprentice accidentally? No, I was not drunk at a club, and I did not announce the winner because I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Trump hasn't decided. How, Howard, you didn't ask me about Oprah. Well, I guess I was gone for so long. Did we talk about it when I was What about Oprah? We don't even know. Yeah, I heard you were on Oprah and almost saw her. Like, Oprah wasn't nice to you or something? It wasn't nice to me. She just stuck me in the audience and put her on the couch. Because you're white? I don't know. Why why was, uh, what was your theory on that? Why? why? I I actually, I was, I felt so deceived. I asked them where she'd be sitting. And, um, she also didn't want to be in the same segment as I did. She wanted to be in the following segment. And I said, absolutely not. I want to be able to respond. Put her in my segment. Where will she be sitting? Where you're sitting. Okay. Next thing you know, she's being hauled up onto the couch. And the argument's completely unfair. And I'm, like, flagging down Oprah to even respond. It was miserable. I, I read a lot that uh, a lot of fans of the show yeah. The Apprentice are really upset with Oprah. They really feel that uh, upset, yeah. she mishandled you, uh, didn't allow you to respond properly. And as it turns out for Mr. Ed Torian, the best lie detector guy in the business, That's right. they were telling the truth. Yeah. Uh, did you at any time call Oprah the N-word? No. <laughs> did you think of her as the N-word? No, I, did, I was not. upset, uh, though. You were upset. And it was upset. probably not fair because... because uh, they allowed Omasara to have all the. Uh, the well, airplane. I understand that Oprah sort of took her side. It, yeah, and, you know, like. they cut out something at one point, and I made them cut it out. She directly asked me, um, you know, did you say the N word? And I'm about to say, no, I, I, if you knew me for more than five minutes, you know I'd never say that. And I go, if you knew me, and Oprah cuts in and says, but I don't know you. And I made them cut that out because I'm like, you guys didn't even let me respond right. when I was asked to respond. I Do was you understand furious. why now I say Oprah is Satan? <laughs> now I'm not joking. Under the guise of being this teacher, healer, there is a shiftiness. Mm. There is an agenda. Mm. And only I see it. And now you see it. Your <laughs> eyes have been opened. I was crying that day, I big time. I'm really upset. Of course you were. Very disappointed. Didn't even expect it at all. Thought yeah. Oprah was a nice woman. I was just... so excited to <laughs> walk down. I'm like, fair, balanced, this is gonna be great and then well. I walked out. What just? I just got like hit in the head. And don't you list Oprah on your website as one of your heroes? That's me. No, that's that's. Oh, you do. Sorry, Howard. <laughs> do you now list Oprah as one of I'm, your heroes? I'm really disappointed. I, I really. Thank I, you. I'm really disappointed in how Erica was treated, but I think that Erica's come out the winner in all of this because now America knows for certain that she didn't say that. So. This is the only show you really get a shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Howard, you have nice teeth, by the way. Well, thank you. <laughs> What a blatant come on I don't know where. And they're, they're no, wearing matching shirts. Wearing. Have you noticed that? You Howard, have beautiful we're matching. Eyes. You have beautiful eyes. Thank you, Howard. I know you're in love with Christy, but um Oh, I would I would ham I mean Both I would make love to <laughs> I would make love to Christy oh so much. Oh Christy. Yeah. I wanna give yeah, you my crucial so head. Like you would kick any of these girls out. No, I wouldn't kick it. In fact, I'd take all three of you at once. And you'd see how bad I was in bed altogether. I'll tell you. It'll blow your mind. I'll tell you what I'd like to bang is Amarusa. Oh, yeah. oh no, you uh, would not. Yeah, I'd, oh, I'd bang the crazy right out of that broad. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's a looking lot of banging. You. There's a lot of crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Check out Katrina, Erica, and Christine, the May issue of FHM Magazine, available at newsstands now. The girls will be signing copies of the magazine this Friday at 1 p.m. at Tower Records, Lincoln Center in Manhattan. Are all of you wearing panties right now? Yes. You are? Yes. Really? Everyone wearing a bra? Yeah. It's kind of mine's sort a stick on thing of a jigger. Right. Not really. Thing of a what? A jigger? What? <laughs> you just said nigger. I I, that's what I heard. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> get Tori. I heard it, Robin. I heard it. Let's Think get it back in here. Get in here, man. Jigger. <laughs> Do you ever refer to a black person as a jigger? <laughs> <laughs> 
How about my bra is that thing on my jigger? So none of you girls have had lesbian experiences. No. no. Although Eric has had thoughts. <laughs> With wow. Robin. In pure thoughts. <sighs> Christy, you really getting married, huh? I am, May 1st. Oh, you already have a date. Oh, That's yeah. Coming up. Two huh? weeks, yeah. You're yeah. a little late, Howard. How many guys did you have sex with before you were a man? Not too many. When did, uh, you, <laughs> when did you meet this guy? I met him two years ago. <laughs> Just the right amount. Huh? I'm not a doctor. Just how many the times? right amount. I exactly. like that. That's a good answer. Like how many times a week do you have sex with this guy? Like twice a day. Twice a day? I yeah. love it. That's, That's why I'm marrying him. It's not going to It's not gonna last. Oh, that's that's it's almost that's almost that's disgusting. Too much. That's, that's almost too much, much sex. Twice a day. <laughs> they're both. Mm. Well, yeah. It, it what? They're both first. nymphos. No, it's beautiful house. It's they're both. <laughs> when, when you meet the right person, it it just works. Yeah. Sure. I never thought it would yeah. happen, but it works. Yeah, well, I'm divorced, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the vote of Right, and you will be too. Trust me. No, no, no. no. This is the man. What about you, Katrina? I'm Isn't actually engaged. He thinks I'm a straight arrow. He told me I'm no fun. But I'm engaged to my high school sweetheart, so you're not going to like that either. So he's the first Eight guy you had sex with? He's the only guy. Really? Oh, oh really? Wow. Poor I don't know how it's <laughs> What a load of crap That's that is. That's the first guy you ever had sex with? Yeah. And you're going to marry him? Howard, he's hot. He is he's hot. Let me tell you something about hot. You're not going to like me, I'm Howard. sorry. He's he's hot. And he's normal. Friend. Like, he's a good guy. You Whatever. know what? Listen. I'm going to tell you something. What? How old are you now? 24. And you've only had sex with... All right. Trust me, it is never going to work. Hey, Howard, we've been together for eight years. You're going to be filled with doubts. Oh, no, Ben, I hope you're not listening. <laughs> He's not, because Howard's no longer in my Has he made love to other people? I want, uh, uh, um, no comment. I see you're hesitant. I don't know, you have to ask him. You ask him. Okay. Has he at least gotten some from somebody else? I mean, I think it's important. Yeah, I, I want to know, too. You don't even know if he's good in bed. Of course I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Who do you compare it to? <laughs> I know he's good in bed. All right. So, compared to Kwame, he's good in bed? Oh, he's my probably, God. He's probably at home right now thinking about Christy. <laughs> Maybe he it. is. He's I probably doing it. Erica on the side, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look. He actually, you know what? He actually loves all my girlfriends. They're great. I yeah, bet he does. Of course he does. He's ready to explode. Are you going to bring other chicks into the bedroom at all? Or are you, like, real straight? No, I, I'm, I'm pretty straight. Mm, yeah, oh, man. Sorry, Howard. I don't know. I don't know. My my mom, like, I think she only did my dad. She looks pretty miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, you're on the air. Hey, hey now. What's hey, going now. On? What's up? Hey, girls. I know you guys don't really watch my most, but she's black. But it's true or not. What? What? what was well, have you been tuning in for the last? No, yeah, Erica took the, the lie detector. No, we we don't like her because she's crazy. Can you imagine <laughs> you could not like a black person for some other reason? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right, final question, and then you guys, I'll let you out of here. And you, you, know, you were very brave to take the lie detector Thank test. Thank you, John. You're on the air. Howard, you are the luckiest man in this world right now. You have you love these three girls. hot women in there. That's so sweet. That's right. That's very sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Three smart, ladies. Smart too. I, I can't even watch the final episode because none of them are on it. No, we'll be there. Well, no, we'll all be we're there. All we're there. all back live. Naked? Okay. All back live, not getting paid. I know, you're right. Yeah. Howard. Yeah. Great businesswoman. Yeah, I'm looking at you in your bra. I'm looking at FHM. Great businesswoman. FHM, you guys all dialed up with the makeup, got the special bra and panties going on. Is that what they're doing, the bra and panties thing? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Oh, this is the girl that wouldn't come on the show, I guess. Which huh? one? Amy. Amy. Which one is it? Amy. 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 I can't tell who's who. The, yeah, Amy. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> we should say if you turn, start training the pages, you'll see all our individual pages. Yeah. yeah. Listen, which one's Amy? Amy's yeah, the one blonde. right next to Erica. The blonde. This one that one. Yeah. 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 Hey, am I wrong or she's got belly fat? Oh. Amy's skinny. Let's be honest. No. No, she's real. She's actually she's really skinny. Yeah. I'm not sure why she didn't do it today. Why? She was busy. Man, you all got yes. chick ass bodies. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, with that? Chris, you got the boob implants, huh? No, they're real. Those are real. Mm -hmm. Get out of. Hell, it's it's not a they're not real, are they? Easy. You they're are not real, are they? They're not. Let's see them. Real. Oh my God! Look at the size of these melons. How about the size? No, 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 no. Oh my God! Nice. They actually look really natural. They're, they're, though. They feel. Who did those? Right? When have you been looking? I have a her? woman doctor. Well, no, honestly, when she when she I didn't know until she said something, and that brought well, that you have together. A, you yeah. have, you have a woman doctor do this? Mm -hmm. where, where in New York or Los Angeles? Newport Beach. In Newport Beach, where's that? Los Angeles, California. 
But you girls all lived in the same house, so you yeah. saw yeah, each other. Yeah, so we saw each other, Nick. And yeah. she has one yeah, of the best much. boob jobs I've ever seen. The first seen. time Katrina met Show me a boob job. Come on. Let's oh, see. Come on. Wait, that was the big, big deal. deal. Wait, that was the funniest scene when they both found oh. out that they had each, that, she, that they had fake boobs. Katrina and I barely knew each other, and we were talking about breast implants. Oh, Katrina, you got fake boobs, too? Mine are real, real fake. <laughs> you take a look. I, well, and Katrina reaches nice. over and, and, and just and grab her grabs boob. my boob. Yeah, I'm standing there in the middle, and then all of a sudden I see Katrina reach over and grab Christy's boob, and I'm like, what the hell? But is when you've had girls do that, stuff, girls fill yeah. each other up it's, all the time. It's not a big deal. Let's see those Cuban melons. <laughs> come on, Castro. Come on. What the hell? So you two guys felt each other up when you met, huh? And you run around naked in the uh, on the apprentice. Huh? We, we live with each there's other. There's cameras so. everywhere. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere. Okay, yeah. so what do you walk around like? What do you sleep in panties? <laughs> yeah, not on the show. Not on the show. No, no, no. No, no but I mean at home. The place. What do you sleep in at home? Yeah. Panties. Naked. Naked. <laughs> depends. It depends where I'm. <laughs> Christy, you're naked when you sleep at home? No, I don't sleep. I have to sleep in panties. Panties. Thong panties or just regular panties? Really, really tiny thong panties. Oh, <laughs> Actually, this is a complete lie. I sleep in boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> My man's boxer shorts, so it's okay. Everybody cleanly shaven? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. You too, Katrina? Yes. Everything, huh? Yes. No. Well, yes. <laughs> you too, you're Christy? getting in trouble here, Howard. You're cleanly shaven? Oh, yeah. It's like what about you, Erica? Yeah, it's the New York thing. Nice. I like you. <laughs> well, when you own a black person, you have to be kind of <laughs> All right, I'm going to... I can talk all morning about this stuff. You have a million questions. I have a million questions, actually. You have to all come back. How far did they get? How, did you guys go far in the thing or you get fired? Earlier? I was the first woman fired. Oh, yeah? yeah. She shouldn't have been. Whatever. Who cares? It was it's like, you know, it's stuff. true, though. It's like... Uh, Let me tell you something. Whoever there. gets the apprentice job they ain't going anywhere anyway. No. Losers. They're not gonna. They're not gonna give them a real job. They're just gonna pay them the money. I wonder. We don't even know where they're where what, they're working. What organization? There's I think it's gonna be the Miss Universe pageant. Exactly. That's just I, my I, really, no, I think it's, agency I think or it's something. Trump ice. Right. Oh cool. my god, know, that would be horrible. It would be <gasps> fun. Uh, I, I think it's the model agency. Play. Oh. All right. I he did this. say it would be one of his lesser companies, yeah. not the most. Yeah, important. like a company I'm that doesn't sure. matter. <laughs> I think Trump's buying a pizza. Can we come work for you, Howard? <laughs> yeah, you can work for me anytime, honey. <laughs> you better believe it. I could use three girls like you <laughs> around here, my Charlie's Maybe you're Angels. A princess. Yeah, <laughs> Howie's Angels. Would you Would you replace me, Fred, and Benji with these three? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the girls will be signing copies of the magazine this Friday at 1 p.m. at Tower Records, Lincoln Center in Manhattan. We'll be back. I'm going to play Star Jones Ragging on me. Yeah, I can't wait. To um, that. and also uh, that a broad area in Huff Huffington is coming in. I don't know anything about her. I just know she was married to some guy who was gay, sort of rich, and in politics for a little while. Oh, oh, he didn't become gay or something. Someone told me that. No, I don't know if he became gay. That's no. not my. Uh... <laughs> wow. No. He became I didn't gay. Know that if I was did. hoping he became gay. Yeah, that's a better story. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we'll take a break, and then I'll become gay. <laughs> no. Right after these words. Now, I'd be glad to take your questions. I will start with you. Uh, Mr. President, why are you and the FCC trying to silence Howard Stern for being a Jew? He was a threat to the United States. And when this nation sees a threat, we've got to deal with it. In other words, he was a danger. And so we dealt with him. Yes, Mr. President, uh, you say you, you want to clean up the airwaves, uh, but yet you seem to be taking freedom of speech hostage in the process. What do you have to, to say about that? Um, what, it, it, let me put that... Uh, what, uh, I didn't see... I mean, I didn't have that... You know, uh, it, it, they... they it, Go ahead. I'm sure something will pop in my head here in the midst of this press conference with all the pressure of trying to come up with an answer, but he's put me under the spot here, and maybe I'm not quick, as quick on my feet as I should be. Okay, well, here's an easy one. What, what did you have for dinner? Um, I think 50 tons of mustard and a turkey. Uh, let's see, last question here. And uh, what years did you get those DUIs, Mr. President? Uh, a 97 and 98 and 99. Thank you all very much. 95.
X. The FCC has slapped Clear Channel Communications with a hefty fine for alleged indecency on Howard Stern's radio shows. Clear Channel has been ordered to pay half a million dollars. Now it's decided to drop the stock stock. The nation's largest radio chain had suspended Stern in February, but has now made its permanent. The FCC cited 18 violations in a single show. Stern calls it a free speech infringement and says he wasn't surprised by the fine. Get it while you can. The Howard Stern Show. Yeah. I got to tell you, girls from uh, that Apprentice show were really, really hot. Unbelievable. Very nice, too. And that chick, Katrina. I didn't realize how hot she was until she stood up at the end there in that little skirt. Dude, mm -hmm. got nice legs. Um, um, yeah, you, you didn't judge her properly. Yeah, but even looking at this shoot, the one I'm most attracted to is Christy. <laughs> well, you know, she looks very much like somebody we know. I know. <laughs> she looks like Beth, right? She uh, does. Yeah. How about uh, F. Mary Kill with those three? <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'd marry Christy. Right. I'd uh, F. Mary Kill, huh? Mm. I'd F. Katrina and I'd have to kill Erica. Oh. Just because she's shorter than the other ones and I like tall chicks. So she's got to go. Yeah. What would you do? I would, um... I uh, let me just say I'd kill her painlessly. Okay, <laughs> it would be quick. Yeah. she wouldn't hurt. She yeah. wouldn't suffer. I, I would do. I would kill her kosher, like just <laughs> right across the mouth. Yeah, I'd. Uh, I'd probably f Christy. Right. Kill Katrina, and marry. Uh, Erica's my type, man. Right. Nice little tight, like. You know. And shorter. And, oh. Yeah, she looks like somebody we know. Uh, yeah, she's got a Dana. She looks like Dana. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Oh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the cook, Katrina's hot, but I'd have to. She seems to be like, the most annoying out of the three. Oh. Katrina. Yeah. Hey, yeah, let me say, I said I'd kill Erica, but after I killed her, I'd have her. <laughs> no. Well, that, Can you do that? Not in that? fair. It's not, not fair. fair? Oh, okay. They're all hot. None of them. All were, hot chicks. They were all very nice, too. Yeah, like them. Let me see. I see anything. Now I'm reading their bios because now I'm interested. <laughs> Christy. Yeah, she was on Richard Diaries. Yeah, I heard one of them there were nude pictures of, yeah. Christy worked as a blackjack dealer. Imagine that. She's been uh, a lot of things in her short mm -hmm. life. How do you concentrate on blackjack? Well, that's why they wanted her, I suppose. Yeah, good move. Hmm. She feels it's some acting opportunities. I have the benefit of looking sweet and innocent, but I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm, like oh. that. Yeah. Oh, she owns Giuliano's Raw, which is a restaurant, raw food restaurant. Mm. I dig that. I dig that whole raw food movement. I'm not into, like, all that raw stuff. I'm into it. I eat it raw. You're talking, I, I just can't. My body doesn't tolerate all that raw vegetables and stuff. See, if she was my girlfriend, I'd say, let's name the restaurant Eat It Raw. <laughs> okay, nice. you know, with my marketing expertise, I think the restaurant could do twenty percent better. <laughs> if it's called Eat It Raw, Eat It Raw, because uh, you want your restaurant to have a joke name. <laughs> yeah, people you want appreciate people that. To laugh when they think of food. Yeah, you want people to really trust you <laughs> when you're making their food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go to Eat It Raw. Let's make it a whole joke thing. How about Oprah shenanigans? All right, okay. So let me get to a bunch of stuff. It's, in fact, let me close this magazine because I'm getting distracted. Look, I did a whole half hour rap this morning on Bush and all that stuff. Although Jimmy Kimmel did kind of rip my bit, but I, I would think Jimmy's writers rip my bit, not Jimmy. I'm, I don't because hope anyway. Jimmy's real uptight about that stuff, but uh, you hope, yeah. But he did the bit. That was the one I was talking about yesterday, where since they're preempting American Idol, they should let the American Idol judges judge President Bush when he's making a speech. He did a whole rap on it yesterday. Yeah, and he did. I, I did a whole rap on it, and then I said, we'll put together a bit. But, of course, our staff couldn't get the bit together fast enough. But they seem to have followed every thing you suggested. Yeah, they, they did it exactly the way I, I mapped it out on the air, so we might as well hear what they did. <laughs> they preempted American Idol tonight. Well, Jimmy's setup is insufferably long. It's bad. i got to say to yeah. Jimmy, I'm going to give him a... You could cut this. Yeah, the, 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 you could have gotten to this in one line. People right. would have because President it. Bush had a press conference. That doesn't seem very American to me, preempting. 
Yeah. Does it have to be on every network? They can't pick one? I mean, I know there's a war on, but why does Ryan Seacrest have to suffer? <laughs> but what they did, they didn't want to lose the American Idol momentum, which they've had going because they've got so many talented... Oh, no, wait, they're all terrible, but they've got right. so many stars that they don't want to lose the momentum. So Fox made uh, actually a compromise, which, and I think this is the first time it's ever been done with uh, the president and the speech. Uh, here's what they did. As long as I'm the president, I will press for freedom. I believe so strongly in the power of freedom. Oh, what's up, man? What's going down, baby? Tonight, it wasn't my favorite performance of yours. I felt like the last couple of weeks, man, like you've been getting really nervous and a little shy up here. I don't know. It wasn't boiling. I'm not seeing, like, you know, that winter spirit in you that I've been seeing earlier on. You look really pretty tonight, and there's something very magical about your performance. I think that this is one of your best ones for us. Thank you, George. That was awful. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, that was excruciating. I don't think so, and I look forward to making my case. I have nothing to say. At least my big guy's big laugh. I'm glad the audience is applauding for it. Yeah, they seem to really like it. You might have wanted to credit me on that one. I mean, it was directly what I did on the air. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't think Jimmy would knowingly rip you off. I don't think so. No. I'll write him a dirty email. I'll go, hey, you effer. <laughs> you mother effer. How can you be mad at Jimmy? He's the guy who pointed out that. What did he point out again? I forget. Oh, the Oprah thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was key. Go to HowardStern.com and click on Oprah versus Howard and see the transcripts for yourself. So, well, I guess we don't have to produce that bit. I'm not gonna. He did a pretty good job producing it. There's nothing left to do with it. And quite Yay! frankly, how many people actually saw it on Jimmy's Yay! show anyway? Well, um, people yeah, we'll just keep playing it here. We'll play it here, make it our own. People just cut out Jimmy's intro. <laughs> I mean, we did write it. People got a chance to hear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Just real quick, some email and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, a lot of uh, a lot of email about the idiots on the View. Joy Behar, who's leaving the show because I guess she can't stand it anymore. Like arguing with a bunch of idiots. Yeah, she's escaping. <laughs> she's escaping the show. She was talking about how you know we need free speech and what they're doing to me is wrong. And Star Jones couldn't get get past the fact that it was me. Right. And then that idiot they hired from Survivor has got to be a moron. She's like a young chick who has no clue what she's... You know, she goes into that whole speed. You know, if we're going to give out speeding tickets... Oh, she does the John Tesh explanation yeah, of this? Yeah, all morons think alike. It's like, well, if we're going to give out speeding... You know, a lot of this speech is really disgusting and... Uh uh, and and it's got to be curbed back, and, and, and there are laws. And then Star Jones starts reading the law going, anything sexual, excretory. And so Meredith, like okay. Meredith Vieira finally says to her, you know, we say vagina 50 times a day on this show. And, and starts like, well, maybe we should be fine. You know, like, like, like. Yeah, I know. Their logic. <laughs> their logic. Just, you know, you understand that Star, she's emotional. And when you're emotional like that, you, you know, all rational thought flies out the window. I feel kind of bad for Star, to tell you the truth. I mean, she's real hurt that I goof on her. That's why she goes off on me. She kind of says it. This man is vicious to me, and if he was attacking you, you'd hate him, too. And It's, yeah. I mean, but how can you not? I mean, th you know what? Here's the weird thing. When Roseanne was going to marry Tom Arnold, she hated me, and Tom hated me. Because, they hated you all during the marriage. Because I kept saying, you know, it's a horrible situation. He doesn't love her. And, you know, and I pointed it out. And then Roseanne came in after the marriage ended and said to me, gee, you were the only one telling the truth, you know. Yeah, they both did. Yeah, Tom, too. And then, like, you know, Star Jones, you know, it's sad. I mean, she's a very, very heavy set woman. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't know anything about her husband. I thought he, I, did, I figured he was just playing her. But, um, you know, then the reports of the paper come out. And you read them. You read them. And I read them on the air. And. He is way too good looking, and, and there's no, and you know what, and that's fine, it, it, lots, listen, I'm an ugly dude, I'm with a good looking chick, I understand, you know, there's always reasons and stuff, but you don't get married in three months, and like if those answers, If he was, if they had said nothing, it'd still be. It'd still be weird. What are you doing after knowing somebody for three months? And having to get, you know, have him get, get asking her to marry him on TV, and. The engagement party filmed and catered and her thanking sponsored. Yeah, it's sponsor a sponsored engagement party because she doesn't have any money. She can't pay for it herself. 
Can you imagine? I mean, so she's all upset. Yeah, she's emotional. She can't think straight mm -hmm. about this issue. Well, here we go. So you want to hear this? Yes. Even though I just told you everything that happened? <laughs> Well, I want to hear them say. I want to hear it in their own words. Thinking about Howard Stern right now, because we don't normally talk That's about... That's Meredith Vieira. ...about Howard, but what's happening to him could potentially... It says we don't normally talk about him because Star Jones has, like the Taliban, forced him not to mention Right, he's put a ban on it. It's a major news story. It's in the paper every day, and, but Star can't handle it. In fact, all of us who are broadcasters of any Please form, don't put me in the same category. I'm talking about what could happen. Show. The show don't put our show in the same well, category. Well, we did it on television mm -hmm. last night. They showed it. They showed our show, his show, other shows. We're on a five-second delay right now, Star. Yeah, but, okay. mind so the five -second but I'm just saying, there, there's a chilling effect that could happen. Just for you who don't know, Clear Channel Radio, which controls a large number of listeners, I think they have six stations they own that he is on right now, they dropped him yeah. right after they were fined about $500,000 by the FCC for sexually explicit information or material that he had made uh, right. available over his on his show comments that he had made and he's had chances though to i mean he's been on probation that's the idiot from oh, survivor man. with the probation who's he's, probation she, she completely doesn't know what she's talking about oh. i was never on probation what probation he's had chances probation of my own for a couple of months they've given him a chance to kind of chill out he hasn't well because he's so, fighting right, for right. the free speech well free speech why. on what though on public airways well, he's, he can take it to the satellite then, where people can pay. Oh, is she a retard? I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't interrupt. You, you know how I feel. Need to hear what he's talking about. No, but he's compla they're complaining about him that he's vulgar. Right. I mean, I read the thing. It's about, it's about oral sex and anal sex. Mm -hmm. This is the, where he's get they're getting him now. If I was and bathroom that, humor and, and, and all a lot that of that sound effects that come in and out. And, and, and talk about work having work a fan base. His people know what's coming down the pike when they turn that radio on. Yeah, but the point is, the law says the FCC is ruling. The quote is. Yeah. For repeated graphic and explicit sexual descriptions that were pandering, titillating, or used to shock the audience. Mm -hmm. That is just a blanket statement, and it, it applies is. across the board, not to just one entity. And it should apply, apply across the board, or we change the rule. Okay, but then the rule doesn't apply to somebody like, uh, I'm not... So Bono says the F word, and he's titillating the audience? Right, he's trying to shock or titillate. Yeah, and, and uh, me, me talking and about... Uh, anal sex, but Oprah talking about anal sex isn't for shocking and titillating. But the point here is that stars also now just slipped it in that we say curse words, which we do not. Right. I'm just pulling his name out of a hat, right. like Rush Limbaugh, let's say, who basically does a lot of hateful speech against other people. Da -da -da -da. Hang on a Repeated second. graphic yes. and explicit sexual descriptions. Just, but what, that is worse? what is worse? Yeah, but except what they don't point out is I did I did my show for ten years on Clear Channel. It was fine until the day I endorsed George. Uh, I endorsed John Kerry. I'm gonna arguing whether or not the law is correct. If we want to do that, then you change the rule. But if you have the rule decides, who the rule decides who the rule stand right now, now he's the panel. Well, we are five men who decide. We yeah. do that every single day in our country. I mean, you know, the, the people upstairs decide whether or not but we decide. But if we decide that China 50 times on this show, well, is that going to get us a big no. It may. It may. It may. Yeah, yeah, it may. Is going, please don't do it. That's because because you don't let know. Let Somebody might find that disgusting. And let yeah. also, see, uh, also pay attention to the fact that that panel is made up of five people, three re three Republicans, two Democrats. The voting was unanimous on that law, so it's across three, the board. Two. Wait a second. Unanimous, though, is the no, idea that three. I'm talking it's about. It's across the board. Well, across I just board. think that you know that it's this, on the left they have their issues, on the right they have their issues. On the right they say Roe v. Wade opened the door for bad kinds of abortion laws and partial birth and infanticide. Gay marriage is going to open the way for a, a marriage between a goat and a man. Okay, that's their, their position. Well, that or a fat chicken. It's and there's some validity. Slope. I say that on that. the left, you have a slippery slope also. Of, of what? Anal well, talk? Yeah. <laughs> well, look, we start going? to censor speech you will, and start to penalize people for being vulgar, then other people will not be able to speak, including us. And Clear Channel did not stand behind. Well, that's the thing. They, didn't, they could have. They, they, could, have, not, they could have at least uh, what, could have appealed this, and they did not. And they, they did not. They, 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 they threw the towel right. in right away. Why should they spend more money? Exactly. Well, because there's a bigger principle, supposedly. Principle. That's we had the people in the business worked towards principle. We never, I mean, honestly, 
the about money. The principle of the First Amendment, your job. Yeah, we all the should First be working hard. Really Do not expect me to sit here thing. and to be protected. Because I am Chinese today. I sit by the bank of the river and wait for the body of my enemy to float by. No, but if it was anybody but your enemy. If it was but Star. If it was anybody but Howard. it might not be your enemy. I don't care. No, I'm saying You know what? Freedom of speech does not enable people to say. You know what? You know why it's emotional? When somebody is that vicious and that nasty to you on a regular basis, I cannot be the Christian fun person that I am. I don't care if they take him off and the vultures eat his body, okay? Thank you. That wasn't Christian. No. I admitted it. You know what? It's, it's not even about that, though. It's just about the fact that we're talking about... Oh, what does she call herself? A Christian? You know what's funny? It's easy to be a Christian when everybody loves you. Yeah, when everyone's this kissing is your... when you're really supposed to have it kick in. Yeah, when everyone's kissing your fat ass. Dumbass. Yeah. So you're not So You're, you're no not Christian, Christian at all. Yeah. I'm testing your Christianity. You're only Christian if everybody loves you. All right, calm down. Said, but I love the Christians. You get all worked. You know what? I'm going to put you on that view show. I you love good the on Christians because they're the most evil human beings. <laughs> How dare you? If you love me, I can be Christian towards you. Public airways and what is permissible and what is not. It's as simple as that. And right now he's... It's simple because she's a simpleton. Not. But, but I'd but, love a clearer definition of what is and what isn't because yeah. I think it's a very... There's a lot of shady areas there, in there, there and it's open to interpretation. And that can be a scary thing. Sometimes it seems very clear cut, but there are other cases where it right, doesn't, right. and the hammer can come down on you. So, all right, I wait for the hammer. Of course, on both sides. I wait for the hammer, I but still, in the meantime, <laughs> I will not. I know it's about him, but you know it yes, is about know, him, and I don't about. think that I'm being unreasonable. No, it's not. You're not being unreasonable. I don't think I'm being what unreasonable. I'm is that when you get attacked the way I've been attacked, then I'm not sure that you would be able to sit here and make that same argument. My argument is about free speech, not about. Hang on a second. Sure. No, I like to turn it off. Why? You know, I've never listened. Right. Free I don't speech. Freedom of speech does not enable someone to walk into a crowded theater and yell fire. It's not Absolutely. right. Absolutely. There are limitations and regulations. There is also an ethical standard. So spell them out. Yeah, but nobody's Be yelling fire yeah. here. Fire! Yeah. Fire! Oh, okay. well, already is. Yeah. Absolutely. Forgetting now. And our government has said fire, that you're in imminent danger. We're over with. What if there's a fire in a crowded theater? Can you yell and fire? You know, my other point with Star <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> That she says, you know, she doesn't care about this issue as long as it takes you down. Right. You have to go. Okay, we gotta, right, we gotta go. go. We gotta go. What? She cares about fat and she, getting freebies. She will allow you to cut her own throat if it'll get you. What did she say? She's waiting for the hamburger to fall? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, could have been that. Oh. Hammer. Who in the hell watches that show? But how could she be this upset if she's never heard anything you said? She says, I don't listen. But she hates you. And those women are whiny. Man, after 30 seconds of that, I was—I just wanted to start punching myself in the face. I yeah, know. Because they're all like, like Joy's got it, but yeah. they're all still so, so annoying. I don't even care. Well, if Meredith even has it. It's the two others, Star yeah. and that whatever her name is. That Survivor chick. Something's got to be done about her. That's yeah. indecent. She won the contest to get that chair. Man, is she annoying. Man. Oof. 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 Is that the dumb chair? Do you have to be dumb to sit in that Oof. chair? Oof. 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 You can't yell fire. <laughs> you can't go to the... Oh, when guys hear that, those chattering, <laughs> That's <it>. cackling women, <laughs> you have no idea what it does to us. Well, thank goodness, we can't have uh, overpopulation. <laughs> God, when I hear those hens going... Oh, man. Howard Stern was mean to me. Well... Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's mean. I'm being honest, honey. I think you ought to take a good look at that engagement. I mean, aren't you getting some warning signals? But uh, also, for your Christian faith, aren't you supposed to pray for forgiveness of people who uh, harm you? What about turning the other cheek? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to test you. I'm like, I'm seeing if you're like Jesus. That's all. Tomorrow, Chris Rock, Daryl Hannah, Quentin Tarantino. I got a ton of stuff to get through if you want to keep... I mean, I got tapes, I got letters. Yeah, so everyone's like, on today's view, you know, they told me about Star Jones and saying that she hoped vultures would eat me because <laughs> she's Chinese today. Well, everything becomes eating, you know? Yeah. So even when you die, you're going to be eaten. Isn't that a weird thing with her? <laughs> like, everything is an eating analogy. That's pretty funny that I she wait, wants you eaten. I want to see vultures eat him. Yeah. <laughs> I think she wants to eat. Me. All all <laughs> things eating are recreational. 
Okay. Uh, real quick, uh, we're doing. Uh, we're looking for a replacement for John, Stuttering John. And the first guy we've been talking to is Dan, the song parody man. He's been doing a good job all week. His task today is to tell us some station gossip that he has learned while he's been here. And here he is in an effort to get John's job. This is the gossip? And he's going to come in with the gossip. By the way, there's a whole salary involved with whoever gets John's job. And the good folks at... Trim Spa, isn't it? I don't know. We don't have a... I think it is Trim Spa. The good folks at Trim Spa. At TrimSpa.com. Trim Spa. Formula Ephedra Free X32. You guys, you guys got to put that up there. Uh, they put up the money for this. So they're good dudes. Trim Spa. Love that product. Gary's on Trim Spa right now. Dan, the song parody man. How's it going? How's it, how, let's see. This is day three. How's it work? It's great. I love it here. You do? It's an easy job? Well, I wouldn't call it easy, but it's something that you enjoy doing, so... A lot of pressure to come up with uh, funny material and things? Sure, sure. Yeah, a little bit. I can deal with it. You can handle it? Absolutely. Now, obviously you can. You've been coming up with stuff. Now, one of your tasks... I can handle things! I'm smart! <laughs> and like everybody says... That's me, Fredo. I'm dumb! I'm smart! And I want respect! One of your tasks is, while you're working here, to observe... And uh, tell us something that you see going on back there that you think is humorous. Uh, do you have something to report? Well, everybody's been pretty tight-lipped. I've been trying to get some dirt, and right. I think the best dirt that I have is based on some prior experience with Artie. Oh, good. It's an Artie thing. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's hear what it is. Uh -uh. Okay. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we were out in Albany. He was doing a comedy gig, and... Um, I have a rather large vehicle, so sometimes I drive the guys out there because most of them are pretty large guys. Right. That way we don't have to take four or five cars out there. That makes sense. And um, this has happened before, but this was really a good one where after the gig, you know, throughout the course of the gig, Artie is, you know, being Artie and having lots of drinks and enjoying himself. Right. Yeah. And by, yeah. by 3 a.m., he's in classic rare form. But he's wise enough to realize that there's no way that he wants to wake up the next morning and drive back with us with a massive hangover. Right. So at 3 a.m. in Albany, he's able to find a taxi driver willing to take him all the way home to New <laughs> to Jersey. New York, to oh. <laughs> now, in classic Artie style, not only does he find a taxi driver at 3 a.m., he's able to find a taxi driver that can show up with a full Sicilian pizza for the drive back. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Wow, is that true? I, I was, it was last Friday, we were about to go on vacation, we did the gig, I got paid, I was drunk off my ass, and like Dan said, I didn't want to, I didn't want to wake up, I wanted to sleep in my own bed. That's a real arty story. So I got a cab driver, I said, find the pizzeria that's open, I got a whole Sicilian pie, I went in the cab, I threw the pie between me and the cab driver. <laughs> me and the cab driver woofed down the Sicilian <laughs> pizza before we got out of Albany, all right? <laughs> What uh, what does it cost you to go to Jersey okay. from Albany? Okay, charged me three hundred dollars. Okay, I gave him five hundred bucks when wow. I got back. So I because I was going to work all night anyway, so I wanted to tip him. <laughs> but the, the kicker of the story is, after I finish my last slice, I fall asleep in Albany. Yeah, I wake up. We're on Route Seventeen in Jersey. I slept the whole ride. Which oh, is, that's wow. beautiful. Wow, perfect. Like a baby. But, uh, like a baby. But you slept in the front or the back. I slept in the front with the guy. Wow. The pizza box was separating us, and the driver was a great guy. He looked like one of the Allman brothers. He was like, right. So I wake up, but when I wake up, I realize I have to throw up. Oh. There's nothing, like, I'm about to just go. So I say to the driver, like, dude, pull over. I got to throw up. And he, like, <laughs> without missing a beat, just goes, all right, dude, fine, you know. Pulls over to a gas station. I open the door. I start violently throwing up outside the gas station at a gas station at, like, 5 a.m. A, a cop, a cop pulls over. <laughs> Did he make you clean it up? I'm surprised the cop didn't call in because he clearly recognized me. Hmm. A cop pulls over, shines a bright light on my face <laughs> while I'm throwing up. And then I just look up at him and the cop goes, ha, 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 And then he just drives away. <laughs> Oh, so it was a big pile of vomit on the floor there? In the gas station. Yeah. Somewhere huh? Someone days. had to clean that up. I guess so. I bet. So then he drives me back. I go in. I get him 500 bucks. I give it to him. And he goes, big fan, tell Howard I support him. Nice. 
<laughs> and then I slept till 5 p.m. the next day. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. You know what kills me is that he always gives you the slip and does this and takes off. If I had known that, I would have driven him home for the 500 bucks and then went back to Albany that night to drive the rest of the guys home. I Joe, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Howard, I don't know if you want this guy sitting so close to you. He sounds a little faggy. Who? Dan. Dan the song parody man? Yeah, he sounds, yeah, he sounds, he's driving a bunch of guys, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't say that if you saw him. Nah, he, this guy's come down here and say, I'm going to take your job, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you have to win over the audience. They're the ones who are going to vote. Hey, uh, bitch. I sent my tape in. Oh, uh, that's why. Hey, I hope you're not calling me a bitch. No, no, Dan, Dan. No, oh, you're fine. talking to me. He's well, 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 tell me the name on the tape, and I'll go in the back room, and I'll make sure they pull it and listen oh, to it. Oh, you'll edit it up, make a real... Great song parody? No, we'll just give it a due diligence. <laughs> Stop, Dan. You're out. Whitey's in. You're out. You're the man. Uh, white rapper. Uh, that was... fan's calling in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, he calls himself the white rapper. I've never heard a rap by this guy or really anything funny. Hey, Rick, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. How are you? Uh, good, my friend. Hey, I, I uh, presently work for Claire Channel Radio. Okay. And um, I don't know if you guys have known, but I, I can tell you who, who will be replacing you in those six markets and also many more. Oh, Ryan Seacrest? Yeah. Actually, the, uh, the Kickaboo Star and Buck Wild. Who? The Star and Buck Wild program. You haven't heard of them? No. Were your competition about a year ago on 97-1? I don't even know those guys. I, I've heard of them, actually. Well, the, the, guy, the guy is always bad, bad mouthing you on the radio. He's saying how he beats you into the ground and stuff. No. Uh, well, maybe he does. What do I know? Hey, good luck. Well, you know, I just figure I'd let you know I support you 100%. Yeah, good. I mean, let, let them syndicate whoever they want. I mean, well, we'll be listening. Uh, ho hopefully, my audience will be listening and writing letters to the FCC about them whenever they hear them step out of line, and we'll get them fined. And then clear well, they have some kind of stipulation where they can't uh, actually put them on the air until August. They they can. I don't know what they. You know, I don't know anything about it. I can just tell you that Clear Channel presents a huge danger in this country. They have no backbone. They're in bed with the president. It is it is radio run by the White House, and if you don't believe it, you know, go on the website and read all the articles. I ain't making this stuff up. Thanks. Well, well we, I support you 100. Uh, Thanks, and you know, and you Star Star and Buck Wild can do whatever they want, but the second they step out of line, they're out. Yeah, watch your back, Star and Buck yeah, Wild. Yeah, and, and and by the way, that goes for all these radio personalities. Keep listening, keep sending in letters to the FCC. Let's see if we can't get everyone off the radio. See and how you don't have to call them jigaboos. Is that what he said, Jigaboo? Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah, he did. He was being rather rude. <laughs> what did he say, Star and Jigaboo? No, he said the Jigaboo, Star and Buck Wild. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. Are I they black? I don't know. They are. I remember reading about them, Howard. They they got fired themselves. That's why they were in the paper like about a year ago. And what did they get fired for? I don't know. I guess they they they, they stepped over the lines. Yeah, so in other words, they were doing a, a cheap imitation of my show. Abs that's what it sounded Probably like. Probably figured yeah. they could be way dirtier than us because right. I'm always getting fined by the FCC. Right. So Clear Channel, in, in the true hypocrisy that they, that they exhibit. Went and hired them. Yeah. It's great. Because we're bad. Unbelievable. I think they got fired. I'm not positive. Hey, Mike, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hey, dude. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, I was watching CNN last night, and I was uh, surprised to see uh, they were interviewing Hugh Hefner. What? They were, they were interviewing Hugh Hefner. Playboy <laughs> magazine, Hugh Hefner? Yeah, what about him? Well, you know, I don't know really. I, I guess I caught the end of it, but uh, he, they did uh, ask him about you. What he thought about what they were doing to you, and he said he totally supported you and he thought that you were a great guy. And uh, well, you uh, Hefner he went through the same kind of crap. I mean, you and look not only that, he was the only guy who supported Lenny Bruce, quite frankly. Yeah, I mean, you Hefner is one of these guys who said, "I'm, uh, you know, it's a naked woman. Who cares? I mean, it's not a big deal." Uh, and as Robin points out, he supported Lenny Bruce. And now that we look back on Lenny Bruce, you have the governor of New York pardoning him. I mean, it was a ridiculous witch hunt. And here we go again with me and and someone else in the future. It's just never going to end. The Taliban-like tactics of our government are ridiculous. And I also get I out of our bedrooms. Get out of our entertainment. Stay away. R just do one thing well. Protect this country by having your attorney general organize the FBI and CIA so they can talk to one another. I and and they don't sit on a ranch, go to work, and do the job of running government, not running people's personal lives. And That's you a have great idea to, get, to get everybody to sign up to vote, all your, your uh, uh, non-voting Well, if you go fans. to my website, that we make it easy. You click, and you can do it right over the web. 
But it's also true. We should be- check to make sure the scores girls are registered. <laughs> They'll yeah. support us. Um, yeah, the scores girls. <laughs> All right, Dan. Good job. Can I? Sorry. Can I give you one more quick arty story? Pretty quick, because I think you'll enjoy it. Is it really good? It's pretty damn good. Okay, if you remember when uh, he was in Vegas doing that gig Super Bowl weekend, yeah. and he had the big um, auditions and interviews going on in L.A. directly after that, right. and he did that call in after we were at the strip club early in the morning, said he hadn't even read the scripts yet. Right. He was going to read them on the airplane to L.A. Everything would be fine. So, of course, Artie leaves. I take over his suite because it's still booked through the weekend, and it's a much nicer room than I have. Right. And what do I find face down on the counter in the bathroom is the scripts. <laughs> so he went to L.A., didn't even bring the scripts to read. Yeah, and by the way, he really impressed Mike Judge in that, uh, in that interview. <laughs> well, he was, he was well prepared. The funny thing is he changed his flight so he could party that night in Vegas and go to L.A. early in the morning. His agent doesn't know that, so the phone rings early in the morning. I'm sleeping in his room. I answer. It's his agent looking for Artie. He says, <laughs> he called the hotel where Artie's supposed to be. They've never even seen or heard of him. Yeah, I know. It was just a fiasco. What's going on. Yeah. And you really blew the uh, yeah, audition. I, I, I blew that one. Yeah. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> The script was in the room. Yeah, you got to roll an elf. Hey, it was Super Bowl weekend in Vegas. Yeah, come on, I want money. Hey, can people just give Artie jobs and no auditions? That's right, I mean, what are you yeah. talking about? You know, it's just too much. Sure. I read the script. I could have done the audition for it. <laughs> you would have had a better shot. You would have been better at it, absolutely. <laughs> you were prepared. Yeah. All right, Dan, thanks, man. Good I luck do. back there. Get, Dan's a good guy. Dan's got two more, two more days here. All right. Thanks, and uh, sorry for spilling the beans on you. Oh, that's all right. And thanks to uh, Trim Spa for... Uh, Sponsoring sponsoring the thing yeah yo howard tomorrow dan is bringing his whack pack member in here nice 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 <laughs> it's supposed to be good uh want to do some news well he's a whack pack candidate yes you probably uh you probably need to uh do the news now because i have to go say hello to the wysp sales staff somehow to- tom's been wrangling stuff out of me lately because of but I'm not doing any more stuff. Why is P sales staff? Yeah, what, 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 what Shouldn't do I have they to... be down in Philly? What are they doing here? Tom. Tom. And don't listen to Tom. Wow. And he claims he told me about it, and he probably did, but as usual, he probably just mentioned it to me, and I go, okay, and I don't want to do I don't, I don't want to do the meet and greet, and I don't want... I'm not doing the meet and greet in Vegas. It's over, pal. No, we, no. You do whatever you want. I didn't agree to it. You keep saying I agree to this stuff. I didn't. That was last year. I'm not going to sit there and meet with penis cream guys. <laughs> I'm not. Gonna, it's it. It's going to be like it was last year. I know, and I don't want to do it. I, after the show at 6 o'clock, I want to go to dinner and relax. Do you understand that? Uh, yeah, I understand that. Well, unless you do the show. I tell you what. You do the show, I'll go do the meet and greet. You decide. <laughs> Stop it with that. And I don't talk to me about it afterwards. I call Don. He'll explain to you what okay. I'm about. And I don't want to sit that you bring three sponsors. Some of them, I'm not even sure what planet they're from. <laughs> and I mean, you know what? They, they should be grateful they're on the show. Some of these guys four years ago couldn't advertise. Unfortunately, this is our business. No, 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 no. What do you mean, unfortunately? I mean, I'm all for them advertising, okay, so but, but what is that? Why does it have to involve me? All it takes is a half hour. Letterman doesn't time. do that stuff. One day a year. What? Day, it's no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 you yeah, would yeah. have me doing it every day no, if I, I didn't put my foot down. And lately now I'm with the YSP sales but, staff. Now, I who else am I going to be with? It's going to take off three or four minutes of your time. Three or four minutes I could be sleeping back what in my office. What do they need? What do they need? The YSP <laughs> what do they want from me, the YSP sales they staff? That's a good question. You. They want to see you. Ins- they they want to see you. They want you to acknowledge that they exist. They want you to thank them for their hard work and to tell them to keep doing what they're doing for you. Do they get paid? That's how we thank them. Bring them in now if you want me to meet with them. I don't want to meet with them. They're not here yet. Oh. No. Well, I'll sure them in when they get in here. And how many how many are there? I was like 19 of them. Just line them up there and I'll thank them. And I heard you say you want me to inspire them. No, I didn't. When, when did I say that? You, you almost did. It almost came out. <laughs> you were headed that way. Listen to the tape. Listen. I listen to everything you right. say. I know you do. And I everything you say. No meet and greet in Vegas. Uh, End of discussion. We got to do it. Do you it. do it. No, 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 we. No, we don't. That's there ain't we. no we, white Captain man. No, it's, it's much more exciting. <laughs> we. Much more exciting to meet you. I want to go over here. This is the inventor of penis cream. Right. This is the man who it's runs never even the, the Ingrown Toenail Institute. Yeah, I mean, it's not even the sponsors. It, it is. that. It's the three sponsors. You can name the three that were there last year if you want to. I don't want to embarrass anybody. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, me neither. I'm not going to do that. It's ridiculous. 
It's ridiculous. It's one day a You're year. Not doing it. Yeah. Not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Howard, this is the. Be a lot of fun. This is Rob from. A great time. This is Rob from mygaydar.com. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Mygaydar.com is so happy to be on this show. <laughs> Four years ago, you wouldn't have let him on. <laughs> That's not true. Really? As soon as they, as soon as they were here, they presented themselves. One of our salespeople found them. You know, we said, sure, we have no problem doing mm -hmm. business with them. Happy to do business. Howard with them. Here's the inventor of the new penis pump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, the head of my gaydar made up an interesting limerick. He thinks you'd like him. Yeah. Yeah. It would be a, a great ad is, campaign. And it's so awkward. I never know when to leave. Uh, and what to say. And I everybody's should you in quickly. Around. I should you out quickly. Get a couple of pictures. And then it's bingo, uncomfortable. Bingo, bingo, bingo. It's Howard, we know you don't want to be here, but we're from. Well, they know because you say it. I know. So let's send the charade. I don't want to be there with them. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, this is Joe Francis. It's hard to hide it from him, you know. This is uh, he's from Girls Gone Wild. Get yeah, I know. How you doing? How you doing, Joe? Right. <laughs> What's up, Howard? Hey, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm just tired, man. I understand. Mm. No, you don't. You're still. You don't understand. You do no, if you I understood, you would have made I understand, Stop. but you know. Would you call Don about this? He, he has a thought about it. He wants to share with you. Okay, I'd be happy to call you. And if he tells me it's okay, then I'll do it. Okay. All right. I'm tired of being. I have no. I have no people in, in between me and Tom. Oh my God! You, you have know. too much access to me. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm not. I'm cutting off access again. In right. fact, yeah, you again? shouldn't even meet with Tom. I'm never. I'm never having a meeting with you again, ever, <laughs> without representation. No, that's not true. Without representation, yes. I am not. Well, are you afraid to meet with me by yourself? Yes. Yeah. Right. If you never meet I with Tom, you so. certainly won't have to meet the client. It's not that you bully me. You guilt me. This is the business oh, we're no, in. Business is hard. Me. You know, but you know what? So business is hard. I present it's the, the life we chose. He's like the mafia dude. Yeah, yeah me, the, the, the <laughs> me, meeting once a year with, with three sponsors is not going to change our bottom line. Really? George from Maxiderm is weeping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's laughable. It's not even like the, not the sponsors laughable. that you're really trying to get. It ain't like Pepsi or something. No, we're getting the sponsors who are there who help us put on Las Vegas. Oh, all right. Okay. Talk to Don. Howard, oh, this is uh, Wendy from StoolSoftener.com. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi, Wendy. How are you? <laughs> hi, Howard. You know, we at StoolSoftener.com are so grateful. Right, for... We're very proud of our product. <laughs> <laughs> this new client has a shoe company that is shoes has they are made out of recycled sponges. <laughs> yeah, it's a great when you're shaking the guy's hand. And he goes, "I know you don't, you know, like to boost my product, but thank you." Yeah, I know, I know, sphincterine isn't something you use, but a lot of people appreciate it. Howard, it's about time you met the gang from Ass Cream. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here, guys. This is Chip. Wendy, <laughs> mm. Wendy's daughter has a big dance coming up. Here's Lydia from CompuHomo. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun or funny. They sponsored the Butterface. <laughs> <laughs> they sponsored Bango. Hey, did you hear what I came up with? Yeah, I did. I got a great idea. You know, I, yeah, I, I it's think not it's bad. a good idea. Just to win a day. We, we got some logistical features that we'll have to deal with it, but we'll, okay. we will Bango? do everything we can to make it happen. Feel free to sell it, and I will not meet with the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, what you'll never hear is uh, these are the guys from Microsoft. They're they're sponsoring Gay Family Feud. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a sponsor for Gay Family Feud? I hope yes, so. Yes, we do. All right, McDonald's get on it. is this close to anal ring? My gay. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Anal onion rings. Do you think you could get Burr Brower and Bell Doc there, or just Burr Brower? You asked me a serious question. Tangretti is available. <laughs> Will Tangretti be there? Oh, my, gaydar, yes. my gaydar is the sponsor of uh, Gay Family Food. Oh, oh good. Of course they are. Perfect. Of course they are. That's perfect. <laughs> a match made in heaven. My gaydar. Perfect. Good. And they're looking forward to meeting you. Howard, meet new, uh, Monica from MooseKnuckle.com. We're very excited. <laughs> Tell us a little about yourself, Monica. Right. <laughs> what made you think of Moose Knuckle? I don't know. I was looking at your pants. No, no I meant I meant oh. Monica. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Howard, the car cash guys have some jokes for Bango. Right. <laughs> 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 All right.
I tried that to describe that to my I've wife last night when I got home. That's a good one. That's a very good one, yes. All right, Tom. All right. We'll talk later. Pleasure. And I'll stop okay. st stop in with the YSP people so I don't right. have to so go back to If you're still on the air when they're here, I'll walk them in. Yeah, something tells okay. me I'm never getting off the air. No one you're has arrived. Now the show is barely alive. Oh, dear. Yes, Captain. Hey, good morning, Howard. Good I morning. just got so annoyed listening to Tom that I had to call C-SPAN. Oh, what did you do? We hope to... Your phone calls now. We go to North Wales, Pennsylvania, a supporter. Go ahead. Tom Chisano sucks. We'll go next to Akron, Ohio. <laughs> nice. See? See what he does? Janks. Thank you, Janks. Thanks. Janks, we'll see you at the meet and greet. Does Janks ever make it out there? Hopefully. I'm going to dress him up as me and let him go to the meet and greet. <laughs> Raja. Yes, Howard. Yes. I want to say, Artie's a bastard. I was cleaning vomit for two hours. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're the owner of the gas station? Yes, in yeah. Paramus. Thank you. Paramus. Okay. I think it is in Paramus. Singing Psychic. He probably is the real guy. <laughs> Singing Psychic, by the way, has a prediction about our show. Go ahead, Singing Psychic. Hi, Day. Go ahead, baby. It's a place that you said, it, that Howard just said it first, was on the website, something about it. What Portland, did you say? Maine? That's what it said, something about on the website. Is it not Portland, Maine? I heard a different town in Maine. Oh. It's the same as Simulcast out of Portland or something. See, I don't know what to say. I don't... I Cause you, I, I don't know if it's the same station. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. I don't know anything. Who cares? It's a difference. I just would like to plug a station if they're running our show. monkey. I'm too stupid. I don't get it. I don't know. Bob, Bob, Bowie. Bob, Bob, Bowie. Bob, Bob, Bowie. I don't know. I'm stupid. Cut, cut, poopy. All right. Let's get back to the game real quick because i got a million things to get to here. Let me give away one more of these. Kill Bill Volume 2, $500. Opens in theaters everywhere Friday. That's today. Um, where were we? We were going to get another contestant on the phone, I think. Huh. Thanks for keeping the flow going. <laughs> hey, Jim, you're on the air. Hey, how are you, Howard? Hey, now. All right, let's do it. Hey, now. Voted for a performer on American Idol. Eight-year-old or Howard? Howard. That's right. Right, Howard. Even that eight-year-old wouldn't call American Idol. See, but, but, uh, but Howard loves American Idol. We she know. knows better. She likes the show, but she didn't vote. But I actually voted. <laughs> <laughs> well, you technically... Who did technically, you vote for? Who did you call in for? Technically, I didn't vote because it was too busy. I couldn't get through. I tried twice. Who were you trying to call in for? Uh, tried to vote. Yeah, I don't even remember. It was first season I voted. Really? Yeah. You voted for... Uh, uh, I think what? Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. I remember you talking about it. You're sick. <laughs> hey, she deserved it. You're way too influenced by the TV. You should stay away. <laughs> Simon said she was good. I think it was more of your hatred for Justin Guarini. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want him to win. It was an anti-Justin vote? Yeah. Hold on. You won $500 courtesy of the new film Kill Bill Volume 2, starring Uma Thurman and directed by Quentin Tarantino. Thanks, Howard. You know what? I got a question. Yeah. Uh, Karina. The porn star Karina. You're, she's not on your website. I can't find her anywhere on the Internet. Well, why do we need her on the website? What's going on with Karina? What are we doing with her? She's the one who went out with Tomas. The, li the lie detector. Right. right. Oh. I can't, I can't find out anything about her. You got Google. <laughs> you Google, baby. Yeah, but you know what? When you go to Google, it brings up a Karina from the, from the 80s. It doesn't bring up this one. Right. Hold on. Oh, you're you? in trouble. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't, I believe me. I, Look at him. He's desperate. That website, I got to, you know. Takes me ten hours just to put up a picture of somebody. But I'm just uh, look at this guy. He's rabid to find her. He can't. He's in bad shape. He needs to find her on the internet. Like, what do you want to do with her? Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> I need to find her. I can't find her anywhere. All right, one more, one more round of this. Erica Midget, are you there? Yes. All right, this is for 500 bucks, and if, and if you don't get it right, you don't win. Okay. One of their favorite movies is She's All That, starring Freddie Prince Jr. Well, that has to be the eight-year-old. Wrong. That's Howard. <laughs> That's me. That's yeah. Howard. That's his favorite movie. <laughs> I love that I movie. I think he liked Freddie Prince. He loves all teen I like. All, I love Freddie Prince movies, except for uh, Scooby-Doo. 
yeah. I like he all was, those. You are his biggest fan. She's all that. That's the one where the, the chick is ugly and then she gets good looking? I, yeah. I guess. Yeah, uh, that's the makeover one. Super film. I think Ganji liked it, too. <laughs> Ganji's gay. Ganji. Hey, I don't know if Ganji goes as far as wearing rubber sandals in the shower. You no, know, that's why I have to be suspicious of your movie picks. Yeah. Hey. Kill Bill Volume 2 is good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that I'm going to go check out. I'm not sure when you're saying she's all that is a great flick. All right, Eric, just for the hell of it, I'll give you the 500. Thank you. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you for lighting up the show. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. He usually has some real long, boring story about American Idol for me. Yeah, he didn't even well, want to do that today. I thought that the one reason that you were going to get me was because of the fact that uh, I told your call screener that I sent a dozen roses to Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. What'd that cost you? Seventy. This kid has no money. He's an invalid. He's he's a midget. He's got all kind of diseases. What kind of diseases you got? Well, I don't have any diseases. It's a disorder. It's called Ehlers Danlos. Yeah, Ehlers Danlos. He's got a disorder. Nobody know. even knows about it. It's, it's Ehlers Danlos. Who's ever heard of that? How long are you going to live with that? You're probably going to have one of those short lifespans, right? Well, no, I've outlived my uh, expectancy, actually. Yeah, he's already supposed to be dead. He's got all these problems, and, you know, he's he's a mess. He's busy wasting money on Kelly Clarkson. I tell him to save his money. Spend it on spend it on yeah. a whore. How fast do you think that hit the trash, that 70 bucks? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you think she even looked at those flowers, dude? $70? I'm sure she probably did. Never saw him. Get yourself a little whore to come over and give you a nice... Uh, happy ending. I was wondering, is there actually any more room to add another game to your Las Vegas trip? What would be that game, Eric? Um, an IQ game between myself and the Whack Pack. Oh. Uh-huh. You, so you, got, you got Bango. How about spin the midget? <laughs> hey. No. Get a big wheel. Hey, how about spin the midget? <laughs> hey, are you also a retard? <laughs> Dude, come to Vegas and play bango. That's what you need. And hope you win. I got three bangos. Yeah. Bango. Bango. Give you the good. Our bango. He's yelling that we can't hear him. Bango. If you want to win a date with porn star Taylor Reno. Talk about bringing it to a screeching halt. I mean, yeah, dude. Instead of drinking this weekend, I'm going to check my email. <laughs> Why aren't you having some fun? You know what, man? You're a good dude. You, I know you. You beat me odds. You beat me on. You party. Live it up. Stop spending freaking money on Kelly Clarkson. Dude, seventy bucks, you get a whore and two pizzas. And he's busy <laughs> calling the uh, Ryan Seacrest show every minute. Ugh. Why are you calling them? Seacrest well, out. I call them because. One time I did end up getting on the air and talking to him. Wow. Ooh, what a day that was. Dude, quick gain off. Just go out and start living, man. Go to a bar. You know, maybe you pick out a... You get drunk or something. Do it. Do something. Do you have any friends? A few. Yeah, so? I can't drink, though. I'm too... Too fragile. You, you go out and you make friends. You could have a few drinks. Yeah, to yeah. Love, have a whiskey. What's that you drink, Artie? Jack Daniels and water in a Jack, giant tumbler? Jack Daniels and water, like a career for Jack Daniels. <laughs> you should have seen. We went out to dinner that Saturday night with Baba Booey. Uh, this guy, they served him a Jack Daniels and water. Like, like in it was a, in a water glass. It was yeah. in a giant water glass. A beer mug. <laughs> a beer mug. <laughs> a bowl. They gave me a bowl of it. <laughs> then I see the eyes going into the back of the head. Yeah, I was like, is that really all Jack Daniels? <laughs> that was great. 
I love when Artie drinks. His hair gets all messed up, and it's just... I look homeless. He, yeah. We, we went outside one time. Dude, I'm going to a bachelor party now. You want to come? I'm in, dude. Oh, you are? I'm already in. You're in? You don't I, even... I was called. This is pathetic. What? So was I. You too? Oh, yeah. What's pathetic but you about? you guys aren't friends with this dude. I'm friends with him. No, through... So what? But, I mean, I like him. It is a little odd. My buddies get married, <laughs> and his future wife, all the, the girls coming to her party are my friends. Right. <laughs> and all the guys come to his party for my friends. I must say, I was surprised to get this yeah. call. I heard your girlfriend's invited to the bachelorette party. Wow, you're kidding. <laughs> I was invited to the wedding. <laughs> Amazing. I sent a gift. My buddy's got to get some friends of his own. I guess when he hooked up with you, he took everything. <laughs> but his girlfriend's got to get some friends, too. Well, Dana's actually dying to go. She can't. We're going to be in Phoenix for the day. <laughs> yeah. She wants to uh, She does want to go. It's very but, nice. But does she even know the girl? <laughs> very little. Well, well, why would she, she invite... We had dinner together in Atlantic City with the girl and her... The, her. And now she's invited to the bachelorette party? Yeah. Uh, is Mary invited? No, she wasn't invited. Oh. They drew the line. I would say, there you, <laughs> there you go. go. I don't think they've ever met Mary. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, so I'm, I'm having dinner with you tonight. No, I'm not going. Oh, you're not? No. I mean, so they told me about it yesterday. Oh. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. Well, I feel now left out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's odd. If you're inviting total strangers. Yeah, but you didn't invite him to Howard's birthday party. <laughs> Are you going, Arnie? I am without question going. Oh, all right, so I'll be with you tonight. Yeah. All right. So you can watch Artie. Well, that's odd. Another tumble. Which is Artie's not friends with this guy. I, I would not love I mean, really. I mean, you I, barely I'm know not, him. Uh, the, you think you know, there'd be other people on his list ahead of you? I mean, he's only, there's of, only like ten guys. See, like I've hung out with him. Like we spent some nights together partying. So, but I'm not his best friend. And I've spent. Some but I'm time. telling you, everyone on the list are all my friends. They're not his friends. <laughs> and the same with the bachelorette party. Uh, uh, it's odd. I'm going to say something. Who cares? I'm happy. I, I feel like it's my bachelor party. Yeah, you'll at least know everybody. <laughs> Can I just say, though, the guy in question, I, I've spent, a great guy. spent a lot of time with him, and he's, I, I, love, best I love the guy. He's right. awesome. One of my best friends. We had a, we had a bonding night in Vegas. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you oh. spent a lot of time, Artie. Oh, my, a, bunch, a bunch of different nights, sure. And actually, I was in Vegas with him last time I did stand-up the whole weekend, and we oh, had a great time. Yeah. And, we, and we email each other a lot, me and this guy. If okay, I had there email, you go. If I had email... But, I mean, like, you don't hang out. I mean... I, 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 if I hung out more often, right. I just don't hang out in oh, general. There you go. But I wanted to talk to you about Artie's, uh, what is it, Jack and Water. Yep. When he came over last Saturday night, of course, I had Jack Daniels ready for him. <laughs> and I went to mix him a drink, and he goes, let, let Dana mix it. She knows how to mix it right. So I put a bunch of ice in a pretty huge glass. Hmm. Jack Daniels, glug, 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 literally to the top. She goes over to the water cooler, puts like a drop of water in it. Yeah. Right. Well, that's... So, it's like, hardly what? necessary. But, well, Artie, why the water? Because it's good for your liver. Oh, you. <laughs> Cleans you out. It actually does. It fly, I read his article. I mean, it really is not. It really is just Jack with a drop of water. The ice? Yeah, the ice. <laughs> it flushes you out. Eric. Yes. So, why are you calling the Ryan Seacrest show? I mean, what, now, you're, now you're into him? Well, because how uh, much he kind of tries to bridge the gap between uh, celebrities and the fans that they follow. Or, you what? know, fans that follow him. <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? Ah, leave him alone. He's a good kid. No, I just didn't understand what he's saying. I, he fe out, he I zoned out. He feels close to the celebrities on it because he tries to bridge the, grab, the gap between... I don't know. Listen, what do I know? <laughs> you know, those stupid shows always have a mission statement. He's the only one who's buying into it. All right. <laughs> All right, Eric. I got 500 bucks here from Kill Bill Volume 2. Dude, also, to prove to you that I'm not totally completely fixed on Kelly last Sunday when I was on my way home from an A's game there was a really cute uh, girl on the park train with me that was like between 19 and 21 and I was kind of flirting with her a little alright good that's good happy to hear that alright hold on don't uh, let me give you a tip don't bring up Ryan Seacrest I can get you nowhere <laughs> Seacrest. Yeah, exactly. Out. <laughs> Eric the Midget. Out. <laughs> Seacrest. Out. <laughs> Eric the Midget. Out. <laughs> Seacrest. Out. So why uh, his number is now unavailable for my calling. <laughs> what? What'd you say? The, the radio show. I tried calling it. I don't know if 
clear channel blocked me or what, but yeah. it's unavailable for my calling area. Yeah, clear channel blocked you right. You're from calling in, I think. Well, C- calling in his radio show? Yeah, because... Maybe because you live in another city. Yeah, but one of the call screeners on his TV show recognized me by, by my voice and my name as being on this show. Yeah, well, that's a real problem, you know. I know how much... It's, real, it's really hard not to be able to talk to Ryan Seacrest for the I know day. how much Clear Channel can't stand you, so... Right. All right, here, here, take your $500. Have a good time, buddy. Thanks. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> rock for rock. Air. You like uh, rock music? Yeah. I went to school with white kids. What you, you know? Were you the black guy at the white I was, concert? I, I, yeah, I was. A, yeah, I was you a, went to the Van Halens and the... I went to the Van I went to Metallica this year. Really? Yeah, yeah, I went to the summer, he used to be summer on the sanitarium. Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I hang with the peppers. Yeah. It's hard to be the black place. guy at the white concert. Not if you like white girls. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got that many white girls. Are you How kidding? do you know? You had some? Yeah, because I'm not really cool enough for a lot of black girls. <laughs> yeah, right. Not quite. Uh, now you are. Uh, now, yeah, yeah, now. Now you can get anybody. Any yeah, race, but now. <laughs> yeah, married now. So, you know. Would you get white girls in the sense that, like, they'd be like, oh, you know, this is so wrong, but... Like, you know what I mean? Like an it had experiment. To be, yeah, like was it ex- like like you know how people experiment with heroin? Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's the fun of the white girl, <laughs> right? See if you're if you're the nice guy and you date black girls, you gotta always act hard, right? And be a bad guy, but right? If you're dating a white girl, being black's bad enough. <laughs> Do you feel weird? Right. Then you're bad automatically. No matter who you are. nice a black guy you are, it's no, bad. Right. Oh, my God. I'm dating, when I'm you, dating Al Roker. It's dangerous. <laughs> when you're dating a white chick and you walk into the room and all our white friends are there. Right. right you know right. what I mean? I'm sure they never brought you home to their parents or anything. Oh, I've met a parent. Or really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. But, you know, I was on Saturday Night Live, so they... Oh, well, back mean. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought like... you took him like high school. No, no. Hell no. Oh, please. <laughs> Who did you date in high school? Nobody. Nobody. You just didn't date at all. No black, black chicks, no white, white chicks. Fat, nothing. So when you got on Saturday Night Live, it was okay to bring Oh, it was home. fine. I had Asian girls. It was great. And the Asian parents didn't get pissed? Oh, it was great. They thought I was Will Smith. Yeah, but right. Who nice. cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm Will Smith, Mr. Chan. <laughs> Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. When you walk in, let's say, so let's say you're going out with a white chick and then you go to a party or somewhere and it's all white people and you're the only black guy. Are you always aware that you're the only black guy? Yeah, wouldn't you be? Well, I dated a black chick. Yeah. And I got to tell you, a lot of times we go to clubs and stuff and all of a sudden I'd be in an all black club. Of course, with Asians. Asians love to watch black people. It's their sport. <laughs> it's yeah. unbelievable. Do you <laughs> know this? Sport. They love it. I'd go see like black performers with an all black audience, and then there'd be a whole side of the room with Asians. <laughs> and I'd say, and, I, and I'd say to the woman I was dating, I'd say, "What's with the Asians? What are they doing here?" And they, she'd go, they "Own the place." No, <laughs> she'd say they they really love to watch, you know, the culture, and 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 they try well, to when, act black. When you go uptown to um, like Sylvia's Soul Food Restaurant, there's always a bunch of Asian people there. They yeah, they come it. in on a They bus, love it, yeah. and then they got like, cameras. The, <laughs> the black waiters and waitresses ignore you. Like, hey, you, brother, you ain't leaving no tip. I'm going over here to these Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> black people are bad tippers. Uh, not me. I've heard I, that I, from I tip waiters. For the race, I you tip do. For the race, so I you over, you feel a responsibility. Yeah, I over tip. Yeah. So you have a lot of pressure on you. I have a lot. So you go, cause, no, so I'd walk in the room and I realize, like, hey, I'm the only white guy here. I realize I'm, I'm aware of this. But it's odd for you because you've never been a minority. You know, it's okay though. But the, like that you know, the lot. sad thing is, I though, have been a minority though. I grew up where I was a minority. Well, you got out of it. We're no, never getting no, out of it. Nobody wanted to like beat you up or anything. They were just like, hey, whatever. Oh, please. Because black women actually, you know, for the most part, they look at, you know, the white guys as their last resort. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, but black first, women. First they date black men. Then they go, I can't get a man. Then they date younger men. Then it's like, you know what? I need a man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go with a white guy. I sense it's getting so, better for black guys dating white women. Oh, there's no problem. Black it's, guy, it's, it's when a getting, black guy walks in a white club, white guys know, oh, we, we better get our women. Yeah. Right. That is scary. We're leaving we better, somebody. It's scary, scary as hell when that happens. Oh, man. no, we better get our women. But a white guy walks in a black club and is like, hey, he must own the place. He's going on. <laughs> so when you, so oh, when you, no, I got warrants. Let me leave. So when you were on Saturday Night Live, yeah. you started in with the white women. 
Yeah, because there's just white did, women around. Did yeah. the sisters start to give you trouble? Like, like, hey, man, why don't you date one of us? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, some black women don't notice you until you're with a white woman. Right. Yeah. Right. All of a sudden, now there's a problem. Yeah. Right. It's like, whoa, this guy dates white women. Well, you are looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> but uh, I got a black wife, so there yeah. you go. Yeah, you have to have a black yeah. wife. You'd catch a Robin, am I, am I accurate in this? You started out with black men, then you went to younger men, then you said, hey. No, 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 no. Hey, you got a black guy now, yeah. right? You got a black guy no, now. I saw you. You got a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> he does into, she's into the blacks. <laughs> he doesn't act black. That's right. I met your black man. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know what bling bling was. Yeah, he doesn't act black. That's the key. That oh, well, what, what's what's acting black? Because he doesn't wear a football jersey? <laughs> <laughs> right. He doesn't, know what, he doesn't know what bling bling means. <laughs> so, is, is he over 40? <laughs> he shouldn't know what bling bling means. I know, but guy the dating Robin here. should have no idea. Someone told me one of the white. Bling, bling it. Someone told me one of the white broads you used to date back in those days. Uh oh. <laughs> what names are coming out now? Uh oh. All right, you know well, how it's got a little earpiece. No, the wife of John F. Kennedy Jr. Her roommate. God. Right. The roommate of Carolyn Bissett. That's right. Sweet. Did you? Uh yeah, I dated her. Yeah, See? I knew it. Oh, that's a nice poll. So you probably saw so you a met lot. Carolyn Bissett. Uh, you gotta met her, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys go out together? <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, like, every, every answer's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, one word, but not a word. Yeah. <laughs> I love black <Blackwood. laughs> That's the rest of the interview. I don't even know who that is, though, the roommate. I don't know. I never met. So, I never saw the roommate. So did you end up on double dates with JFK Jr.? No, no, and that never happened. Oh, no. with that Bergen guy who wrote the book. No, I never, know, never. Yeah, hey, what did you see going I, on? I, I saw nothing. What did the roommate tell you was going on? <laughs> I saw nothing. Carolyn's with everyone. She's with JFK Jr. and this model, dude. <laughs> I saw nothing. You now, know, now it's suddenly a good... Now it's just... You, know, you were like, do we have to book him to... <laughs> to talk about a special? <laughs> really? That's so lame. So you were on the to top bunk bed doing the chick, and John and Carolyn were oh, on the bottom bunk bed. Oh, there's nothing like that. Wait a second. Though. So you would see Carolyn and John, like, they'd be at the apartment hanging out with you. Who knows, Howard? Wow, look at this. You got a book in you. No, I got nothing. Why, you don't talk about this stuff? No, I got, because I have a life, actually. I have other things No, you don't. Happen. What life do you have? I got a life. I, I work. Yeah, so my work. So if you so wait, <laughs> that's not work. My, wait, chi let me my ask child. My child. Uh, did you ever go through your entire history with the wife? Uh, no. Oh. Is that a good no. thing to do? Like, do you tell you? I don't want to hear her history. But let me ask you something. I really don't. Because see, now we're asking you about your history. If she's listening, she ain't listening. Number one, she How sleeps late because his wife ain't listening to this. Well, my wife hates Howard. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I went one time, I saw Chris at a restaurant with a bunch of people. He was yeah. there with the wife. You would have thought I he was... He didn't even know you. You would have thought I was from Mars. <laughs> when he was with his fancy friends like Gwyneth Paltrow and everything. Oh, that was that table? Yeah, oh, Chris was over there. That. And the wife gave me the look. Oh, that's terrible. Like, you suck. Yeah, it was one of those times where I was on and I think I, I might have been separated or whatever. Whatever was in the paper. No, you, you were got, there with her. No, but I remember one time you guys asked me about, you know, right, the, the, the status separation. of my marriage. Yeah. Just, my wife was upset over this and I'm always like honey do you know how I diss people on award shows you can't get mad at Howard well, what did <laughs> I do how we eat you're the one who separated from her <laughs> God, I didn't we're do it we're together now Howard. I know. she took you back on Oprah today <laughs> are you on Oprah so did, today yeah oh Oprah loved you I love Oprah you're the uh, you're like the I'm the, the new the Sinbad. Man. You're the new Sinbad. <laughs> Guy in the I paper got... today is calling you special. He's saying it's the most. Marshall, find my friend. Well, did what, a review. What, what page? What paper? He's from Westchester Gannett. He goes. This is the most important special ever. Wow. Wow. Important. Yeah, because uh, you must watch. <laughs> yeah, I got it right here. What is it, man? You're gonna love this. The kissing your ass all over. Wow, look Boy. at you, Mister Important. See, Marshall what was like you say? something for me. Profit from. Profit from pain, Marshall Fine. It may be the most important 90 minutes of stand-up comedy and commentary you'll see this year. That's not funny, though. He didn't Wait, say funny. Rock is funny <laughs> and cogent, speaking, it's uncom not a lecture, is yeah. it? <laughs> speaking uncomfortable truths with a sly wit and a knowing expression like Lenny Bruce, Bill Hicks, and Sam Kinison. Rock brings the quality of a hip preacher to his comic rant. What the hell does cogent mean? I don't know. Talking about Tupac. Talking about Iraq. Says, how could Iraq threaten us 
We took the whole country in two weeks. You couldn't take over Baltimore in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah is rich. Bill Gates has wealth. If Bill Gates woke up with Oprah's money, he'd jump out a window. So he's quoting you all over the place. Tell you how important I'm trying to stay in the business, Howard. Look at you. And you know what? We noticed something. What? Like on the HBO commercials, you come out all defiant. And, like, you know, you're like, you got the microphone in your hand. You got the suit on. And you're, <laughs> you're not even, like, you're doing a real serious face. It's this like, is what I do. This is me, man. I own this place. <laughs> then when you're out promoting the movies, hey, you're like a whole different guy. You're like, <laughs> look, the movie's not so bad. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, not, it's, it's a movie I'm in most of the time. Because <laughs> 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 the special is, like, all me. <laughs> Movie, got directors and writers and other actors, but, you know. So it's like your radio. This is right. what you do. So white chicks brought you home. <laughs> <laughs> what, did they only bring him home? Hey, uh, Chris, I want you to come home with me. You don't think the parents got upset, huh? Even though you weren't Saturday Night Live. Uh, I think I'm the parents would. I wonder. I wonder. I'm in, I would be one of those... You know, I'd be on that, that small list of black guys you wouldn't mind your daughter. <laughs> I don't know about that. Where small, is that? What list? It's, like, it's like a three guy list. What, you, you, it's like me, Brian Gumbo, and, nah. and Will. You're not on that list. I'm not on that list. No, you're oh, not. No. Yeah. It'd be Colin Powell for. <laughs> right? <laughs> If there was a list. No, no, you're not on that <laughs> list. Stop a kidding yourself. There's no white parents going to sit there and look at you and go, oh, this is great. Oh, thank goodness you, you know brought they, home Chris. You know they got thoughts. You know how these people are. Not me. These well, other you know, people. Maybe if they're, you know, you know, they need some money or something. Right, right. They, you know, because OJ yeah. took care of, like, his whole, loved that. his whole white family. He did. <laughs> See, OJ. He gave the whole white family jobs. And, well, that's and, the thing. He took them all on. He took <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, you know, he, he supported the whole family. He supported the whole white family. I'm an so Italian, how could you object? I'm an Italian guy from Jersey. When you bring money into the equation, Chris can marry my mother right now if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead, yeah, buddy. Oh, you're right. a practical man. To bring you money. <laughs> Oh, I wish my mother would mean a nice white guy with some money right now. Oh, <laughs> Why, oh I'd be so happy. Oh, your mother's a radio host. Yeah, yeah. She still she, got that radio show? Got, I think so, yeah. yeah. So you don't even talk what to her. Mean, uh, she's at my house so. right now. Is she's at she? my house right now. But, What's you know, I don't, I don't get into the show business thing. Oh, man. And then you, start to, you really want to talk about an agent with your mother? <laughs> no. <laughs> what kind of radio show what does she have? What kind of rating are you getting, Ma? What kind of radio show does she have? Do you do her show? She gives motherly advice. <laughs> because you, because she's Chris Rock's mom. Well, well, no, no. My mother raised six. My mother and father, but my my dad died. But my mother raised six boys, seven boys, in Bed Stuy. None in jail. Right. None with a kid out of wedlock. So that's that. I mean, come nice. on. That's pretty she good. Must have that's in that neighborhood. Yeah. You know, Please. Yeah. But but she got the radio show because she's. Did she go on and say I'm Chris Rock's mom? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's good for something. Did that drive you crazy? Come on. Come on. No, no. Fine. It just, it's less money I have. So a but you, seem, check I have you seem upset about it. But why does she have to have a radio <laughs> show? Yeah, why is she working? We're in show, come on. Do you you know, who, who turns down a job in show business? No, come How on. How many people have you known but wait in your second. life? Wait, a lot of people. If we walk down the street right now and just offered people jobs in show business. Do you give her money, your mom? Yeah, who doesn't? No, I'm just asking, do you? Yeah. So she doesn't need to work. I mean, you're a multimillionaire. I do okay. I don't do as well as you. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, please. How much you get for the HBO special? Not as much as you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you have made a few movies, Chris. Do, I don't do as well as Howard. I like how it likes to talk And you've to been on up. tour. I do, I do fine. I do fine. <laughs> Howard, you gotta jump, be. Howard jump out a window if he made my money. <laughs> yeah, he'd be pissed. Get really? It. He'd march out of here like Jackie. I'm, I'm not taking it. I think he's hiding I'm from the government it. or something. Yeah, I think he's sitting on a nest egg, my friend. I can't imagine. I do all right. You're one of the biggest names in comedy. I don't I'm see. All right. You haven't parlayed that? I do okay. He doesn't have Tim Allen money. <laughs> right, I don't have Tim Allen no money. Why don't you Taylor money? Or Jim Carrey money? Or why don't you do a, a, uh, a sitcom? Ben Stiller money? Or, you know. Drew Carey money? Or even David Spade money? That's like that's <laughs> right. sitcom right. money. That's yeah. rich. Well, why don't you uh, reduce yourself to do like go on <laughs> <and> eight <laughs> simple ways to date my daughter? Or yeah, why don't you oh, play I, John Ritter. I, I I didn't want that one. <laughs> they, they called though. They called. <laughs> There's a white chick on the phone. She claims she banged Oh, her. no. Let's oh. That's good. Let's see. Tina. Hi, Howard. Uh -oh. 
I took Chris Rock home one time. I jumped on the bed and told him to do what black men do best. He robbed my freaking TV. Oh. Dirty nigga. Oh, oh hey. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's another fine. That's another uh, fine. Thanks a lot, buddy. Now you get fined by BET. Right. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? <laughs> Can't believe my mother would call up like that. God damn it. Wow. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Well, well that's why we're world. doing so. Notice how used to it I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like, you should play that in slow motion. The guy said nigger and rock didn't flinch. <laughs> <laughs> I flinched. Did you actually steal her TV? Is that true? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't, I don't believe I did, but you never So did. how's things going with the wife? Fine. Got another baby on the way. Yeah, great. Yeah. How and, uh, many would that be? That would be two. Oh, I thought you'd had so, another one already. She's no, that, just uh, she yeah, hasn't yeah. delivered yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's, so not, that we, it's not that we have sex a lot. It's just when you get in there, you're not going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. so you're living in Jersey, and you're not going out that I much. don't have, ever have sex. So. so let me get your life. So you're living in Jersey. Right. You know my life. You lived my life. So how the hell are you uh, happy? I'm happy. I find happiness. I find a little... Little moments. I find moments. <laughs> my kid makes me happy, though. My kid makes me real happy. Really? Yeah. How so? <laughs> I mean, well, how does that work? You know, goo goo gaga, daddy, you know. No. You got an office in the basement? I got an office in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, Chris has this I don't have a fish now. tank, though. You will. Once you have the fish tank, it's, it's all over. It's time to go. Give it time. But Chris has, he's been talking himself into being happy with this thing. He was telling me yeah, that women now, he says he's glad he wouldn't have to be looking for a woman now. I would, well, you would hate. I mean, you you got a girlfriend now. That's I fine. do. But you would hate to have to try to find a wife right now. Yeah, what do I need a wife for? <laughs> What's the difference? Why would you want to? There ain't a lot of wives out there. <laughs> you know what? You are you are in the stage I call brainwashing yourself. Yes, he is. He's talking himself into this. I would be horrible finding a wife now. <laughs> Auditioning all those wives. When he told me that uh, this is talking himself into this. All that got great. All that romance. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the hell did he do? He's, he's stuck now. Raise some kids, man. No, oh, hey, I'm all for the kids. Yeah. You hear Rebecca Remain Stainless is free? Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't want a piece I of that? I thought she was free before. Not true. Ooh. 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 What? Ooh. what the hell? I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> Dude, that's a, that's a phone call away for you. Wow. So what do you do? You sit home all day, and what do you do? You play with the kids? I, I, I'm, I just came off tour. So I was <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, how is that? The sexless tour? Sexless, it really is a sexless tour, now. <laughs> That's see, not the You person. literally yeah. have to think about the money. How? Yeah, yeah right. You how? literally have to think about how much money you're getting. If you're not while getting, you're because you used to just think about getting laid. Yeah, you if you're not getting laid on the road, Did like what's the though? point of going on the road? I mean, in the broads, I look, I'm at Bananas and Poughkeepsie. There's broads all over the place. I went to see Chris at Madison Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. Comes out there. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a televangelist. Right, it's not a revival, revival meeting. meeting. He comes out there. <laughs> Did you come? No, I didn't hear from you. He's doing his whole thing. And the women are sitting there, they're clapping, they're slapping each other five. Oh, they're like they ready to them. they're ready to do whatever it is you need to do with them. They're ready. You're and you right. go back to your hotel room, I ain't buying any of this. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? And how often are you getting laid with your wife? She's pregnant. She's pregnant. So you're not, you're not going to do it when she's pregnant, right? Well, you try. But it's yeah. horrible, right? <laughs> oh, oh, is it? Is oh, it bad? I do have two. Oh, I have three. three. Yeah, three. I have three beautiful children. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And a great ex-wife. Yeah. She got, she got remarried. Right? She is remarried. Good for you. Good for her. Does she marry a guy with money? Absolutely. Good. But he didn't mean anything. He just settled out right. He just gave it all. Oh, that's what, that was my prenup. I handed it my off. My prenup was just, okay. Here it is. <laughs> anything for no payments. Yeah. So how often are you getting sex? <laughs> like, how, like, like, how far? <laughs> long, how far? <laughs> I love Howard asking these questions like he doesn't know. No, no, no. How far, how far along and how pregnant is she now? She's, uh, with, the baby's doing May. So she's very pregnant. Sorry, April. Yeah. So when's the last time you got laid? I don't know. I get laid during the pregnancy. Yes. Are you turned on by your woman when she's pregnant? Yes, my woman's fine. I, uh, hey, I saw your wife. She's, she's gorgeous. Beautiful, wife. beautiful. Beautiful. She is hot. 
She is hot. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Light skinned black woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen her. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to really do the whole white thing. So I got a, <laughs> got a light skinned black woman. <laughs> so I got a light skinned black woman. <laughs> She's blacker than Eddie Murphy's wife. <laughs> Yeah, she probably is a, a shade darker. <laughs> She's darker than yeah, Eddie Murphy. We did the, we did the yeah, paper bag test with our wives. <laughs> you did. You, you lied about yeah, that kind of paper yeah, bag. Yeah, we just all had our wives and Eddie and Mike Tyson and, and <laughs> baby face and everybody. We had the light skinned wives. Right. <laughs> so what is it? If you're lighter than a paper bag? Yeah, then you could come in the club. Oh, I see. So, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Wow. <laughs> The special's brilliant. Yeah, light skinned women. It, that has a, you know, Michael Jordan came out, because there used to be light skinned men, black women only attracted to light skinned men, but then Michael Jordan came and he just knocked the door open. Right. right. And Michael Jordan, between Michael Jordan, Wesley Snipes, and Bobby Brown at the time, right. dark skin's just in. That's in. It is in. It is for black men, but there hasn't really been the revolutionary dark-skinned woman that's knocked the door down. You're very right, because <laughs> like you never see a guy like Chris Rock or Eddie Murphy married to someone like Florida Evans from uh, you well, know, that's Good Time. No, 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 no. I got a name for you, Naomi, no, no. Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell, she's a little she's crazy. Beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, you can't marry her. She's crazy. You can't, ain't nobody's married. Real black skin, hot as hell. What, is, what, what makes her so crazy, anyway? I hear guys say that all the time. You know, it's a combination of her... her Percy's taking no, 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 no. it. Easy to, easy over there. Not <laughs> Chris. I believe you. you know what? Me. Don't, don't we have to do that? Uh, yes, we do. Right. Really? You, you don't want to be liable. I don't want to be liable. Oh. I know she went to an anger management class. I don't know anything about any. Yeah, she uh, was uh, in some Oh, sort of, okay, fine. Uh, sobriety uh, and uh, I don't know that. Uh, that much about the lady. Oh, see, I didn't know. I'm sorry, I hit the <laughs> well, button. You got, I you hit got the a button. three day delay anyway. On this show. Matter. You're saying. Yes. <laughs> Not on until next week. <laughs> so, what's the darkest woman you ever had? I've had dark women. You've had dark skinned black women? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never told me that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. I wasn't always famous. Right. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't get a light oh, skin girl, so I got money. That dark skin. <laughs> yeah, before Chris so got, got famous. Money. He was dating Shirley Chisholm. Oh, yeah. stop it. <laughs> Shirley Chisholm. <laughs> what happened to her? Again, I love Shirley the Chisholm. that dark-skinned black women are all ugly and tired. That's no, no, that's him. Not me, no, you. You were the one who said Shirley Hemphill the moment he said that. I said Florida that's, Evans. That's Florida 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 Evans. Evans. Let's go on the I brought up Naomi Campbell. I'm You're I was, I I was trying to sleep with Naomi <laughs> Campbell hey. for years. <laughs> yes. And she would never have sex with me. I love dark skinned black I, women. She would never, Please. ever have sex I have with been with dark skinned no, black women. No, you haven't. He has. Yes, no. I have. And I, no. my lips are sealed. No, he hasn't. You don't know my yes, history. He has. Yes, he has. Who? I'm Naomi not saying. Campbell? No. <laughs> darker than Naomi Campbell. I was with. Re Who? Rashamba? Darker than Wesley Snipes. Oh, you were with Wesley Snipes. I say what? <laughs> On Esther. I dated Mrs. Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Look, why, who cares? Everybody should love everyone. Oh, Everybody you're the one who's making the distinction. Na Naomi would not have sex with me. You asked? Not that I asked, but, you know, just, you know, you put feelers out there. And, right. You know. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm not crazy enough for her. I, mean, I remember the last time I saw her You're once. You're too dark for her. Maybe I'm too dark for her. I saw her, you know. And I would, <laughs> I would cheat on my wife for Naomi Campbell. That's worth, yeah, like, Damn right beating. you would. You know, I remember I saw her a few weeks, not a, a, about a year, a couple of years ago, and I was at, like, the Beverly Hills Hotel, and, like, I had the number one movie. Right. Or whatever. Like, it was a couple of years ago, and... I see her, she sees me, she goes, Chris, Chris, Chris. And I'm like, okay. Oh, right. and I'm I'm finally, and then she goes, have you seen Eddie? <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, so oh, horrible. Oh, horrible. Oh, so. dear. Yeah, you know what? I, I met her once. I think it was, yeah, well, I met her once, uh -huh. at a, and she was at a table with people, and I'm kind of trying to feel out the situation. <laughs> and uh, she blew me off totally. She totally. Like turned the back to me she the whole thing. Like funny man, apparently. Totally. No, no you got to be hot. <laughs> funny for her. No she chick has, like she funny. She doesn't need guy. a radio show. She, you right. know. Right. She, she has serious money, I guess. I don't know. Has, all right, but you know. She's got to be a little bit desperate. She's still got to work, I think. <laughs> you know, her superpowers are waning. Yeah. yeah. She's still doing catalog. It's time to cat cash in, right. I would say. Man. 
Oh, well. Yeah, I love Naomi Campbell. She's got one of the great asses of our time. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, so you got this special. Got you, the special. You got the brilliant special. I'm trying. HBO didn't even pay that good for the special, but okay. They paid me. They did? They pay me. Over a mil? I do okay. I'm not going to. It's anyway. over a mil. They pay me well. Yeah, they got to pay to get Chris Rock. He could put that out on video or so go I and put it in the movie theater. Put right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So, and, and the way that DVDs are selling now, you can yeah. make DVD. Make so money. then what are you doing? Are you going to do another movie? Doing a movie with Adam Sandler. Let's talk about this now. We, we need a good one here. This is going to be good. Well, Adam seems <laughs> to be flat. You, you need a good We all need movie. a good one. We all need a good one. Yeah. Adam no. needs a good one? <laughs> no, Adam, yeah. Adam's fine. Adam never does a good one. He hasn't oh, held back hey, on that hey. yet. <laughs> Chris Rock is not saying anything <laughs> against Adam Sandler. What's the plot of this Ever? movie? <laughs> you guys get eaten by alligators? I mean, what, what, what's the plot? Uh, this, we're doing a remake of The Longest Yard, and Sandler's oh, okay. playing the Burt Reynolds part. So. And he looks like Burt Reynolds? Uh, no, he's just, actually, I think I, I, Burt Reynolds in the long shot. You were, you're the Nick in the Nolte movie. part? No, I'm the uh, the Nick Nolte part. <laughs> Whatever. No, that, that was North Dallas Ford. Oh, think. okay, I'm got, getting my football you're movies. You're getting your confused. football movies. Right. Oh, wait a second. So you guys are in prison playing football? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I can't be in prison. <laughs> Come on. You're, and you're a tough a guy? Prisoner. Weren't those tough guys in well, prison? Everyone wasn't tough. Or you guys are just like 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 happy go remember, he was, guys. remember in the movie it was a pro quarterback that right. got caught in some gambling scheme that ends up in prison for like fifty days or something. And you're gonna buy that Adam Sandler was a pro yes, quarterback? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna buy it. Uh, and, who and we're gonna you, love it. Who and who are, are you, you supposed to be? I'm uh the guy who shows him the ropes in jail. I'm kind of like, you know, like remember the, the little kid, that, the skinny guy who gets killed in the original Bad yeah, Boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you're that guy. Like that guy. Oh, okay. All right, okay. okay. Ah, good. I found a reference. But you're not like the woman in prison, like what these guys are yeah, all... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, you're like a very slender guy. guy. Like a woman in... No, no, no. no. <laughs> that thing's... Yeah, how are you I avoiding that? I couldn't that? get that part. I read for it. <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to avoid getting raped in prison? Uh, you know. Oh, you're cute. Uh, what the hell? I read for that part. I couldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris's special is brilliant. It's called Never Scared. It's okay. Nah, it's a good special. I saw it. It's real good. And I saw you do it live. It was great. It's uh, Saturday night at 10 o'clock on HBO. And in the words of Marshall Fine, the most important special you can see this the, year. Importance is not good. Cogent. Let's, hope, let's, no, let's hope it's, it's funny. Important. And more importantly, <laughs> you write the whole thing yourself. I do write it myself. That's awesome. I do write it myself. How do you do that? Like you well, sit in the basement? I'm in the basement. I got nothing else. <laughs> I tell you. I'm I tell not you. coming up. It's made you real funny. <laughs> I'm not coming up until everyone's asleep. Yeah, I'm working on my special, honey. Meanwhile, the porn is going. Do you have porn down there and everything? Yeah, you know. you. you I don't have any porn because I have so much porn on cable. Right. But what do you do down there in the basement? You know, you should, you should bring this up in your FCC. What is your thing. office? All these corporations make so much money off porno. Oh, it's and they like, you yeah. know, this is a Howard Stern's indecent. They yeah. make so much, much money. money off porno. Yeah, all, all of them do. All of them. Now, let me ask you something. Big corporations. Big, big. You gotta all see, of them. I like your whole rap cable. about uh, the big corporations like Philip Morris. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Chris says, you say it better. You say it. Well, I say, you know, this only the white man could sell such a product. The cigarettes that kill people that don't even smoke. <laughs> if, just imagine if the Philip Morris family was a bunch of Jerry Curl niggas from Mississippi, how illegal a pack of cigarettes would be. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the truth. It is true. That is you true. Imagine. Now, you thought that up in the basement? Yeah, in the yeah. basement. <laughs> hmm. I think Jerry Curl's a good word. So when you, you, you listen, that comes to you real easy, right? Thinking that stuff up. No, no, no. Do you have to labor over it? I mean, it takes months and months. Yeah, and what do you do? You write it down. Three months of working it out. When you get a good idea, what do you? What's the process? You write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, write it down and I call it in on my machine. That way, I can hear exactly what I meant. Sometimes you can read it and you don't know. So you'll be somewhere. You get an idea. You phone yourself up. Phone myself. Yeah. And you start talking into your phone. Yeah. You can't have one of those little recorders with you? Uh, that's just obnoxious. <laughs> do you do the Chris Note one? to self. <laughs> Joke. I'm so important. Hey, everybody, stop. I've just come up with an idea. Chris Rock has just come up with an but idea. But are you neurotic about it? talking to third person. Let's say you're at a party. You say something funny. You think it's, excuse me for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Like Superman, you excuse yourself on the table. You go over to a phone, and then you call up and uh, go, hey. I won't even I'll say excuse me, but I won't tell people what I'm doing. Right. 
I don't, you, I don't have to announce that I'm a comedian. But if you have a burst of creativity, you could be getting up two, three times, four times to get on the phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you can't stop the thoughts from coming. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, do <laughs> Why don't you release a tape of your phone messages? I would love to hear that. Nice. Yeah, like, like you know how the Beatles release everything. Everything now. <laughs> you hear them making the. That's song. for the kid. That's for the kid. You do that. I would call yourself right now. That's in my divorce fund. I have all these. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, do my you, war chest. All my. Do you save those to, tapes? I, I, I probably have some. But do you have a special phone number? This isn't the regular house phone. Everybody the joke hears your. What's my? Yeah, it's my... going through the house. <laughs> <laughs> It's my line at the house. <laughs> and you have an answering machine, and it records this. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So if I was your, if I was like your housekeeper, I could just turn up the volume and hear you talking into your uh, into your machine. Perhaps. Yeah. yeah. And and when you do this, housekeeper, you gotta have to be rich. Oh, no, you oh, have. Oh, get those. out. <laughs> you got a white housekeeper or a black housekeeper? Uh, white. Yeah. Huh? That's nice. Nice move. <laughs> How'd you get one? The way to do it. How'd you do that? <laughs> It, it took a be, while. Yeah, she's got to have an accent or something. No, she's, yeah, yeah, she does have an accent. Is it cool ordering around a white woman? And we got I don't order around. My, you know? wife, my wife orders. Around. She must really get on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beats her. My wife beats her. <laughs> Takes her in the back of beats her. her. <laughs> Walks around with white gloves. Get over here. Uh, Inga, the pillows aren't straight. I think her name is Inga. That's, <laughs> it. That's the sick thing. You know what? Artie's been in your house. <laughs> I think so her you, name is Inga. So you call yourself on this machine. And she's got, like, these hot other girls that oh, no. clean up the house, too. Oh, pairs. Yeah. Oh. So how's that work? It doesn't pay him anything. And you got a white <laughs> and you got a white woman watching your kids and everything, right? No, no, I got a black woman watching my kids. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the right thing because out in public when she's wheeling them around and stuff, I think it's it's better. <laughs> trying to think it all through for you. <laughs> you know, yeah, every, everything is planned out. You so. don't want to raise a black kid with a Swedish accent. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. no, you need, you need you need. I get it. I get the whole setup. You get the whole setup. I, I, I understand. Do, do you have a black woman watching your kids? Yes, as a matter of fact, oh, I do. Okay. Lovely woman. Oh, that's good. And um, so well, that's good, preparation good. for life in his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're going to be ordering around black people, so you might as well yeah, start young. That, that is okay. I never knew that. That yeah. was the reason yeah. for the you whole thing. Have to train day. young white children to order around black people. Oh man! Right, so wait a second. Do you? Oh God! See, that never occurred to me. See, I'm occurred. working out my comedy. Well, let me understand something. You know, Jackie made a lot of money on the side, yeah. and those people would all book you, Robin. <laughs> So you, so you call home. She leaves about a half a million on the table every year. I know. You call home. <laughs> Twenty it's minutes, probably Robin. True. You probably talk into true. the tape machine. Now, when you talk into the tape machine, do you do the classic Chris Rock style? You know, like they only make me sick. <laughs> make that, me that sick. That my Corporation. If Ellen Morris, yeah. with Jerry Curl niggas. <laughs> like do you yell it in there to see how the delivery sounds? No, nah, no, nah, I don't. You yell mumble it. it. I mumble it. You whisper it, like, okay. Uh, you know, you don't, <laughs> yeah, there's a dinner party going on in the next. Music. <laughs> <laughs> well, I toss my salad. <laughs> <laughs> so you whisper in there, then you listen to it back. If it sounds good, you write it down. Yeah, then and you memorize I'll, it. I'll take it to the comic strip. Or what do you mean you take it? Do you memorize it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll write it down, and then I'll, you know, I'll. Go to like the what's the comedy comedy cellar in the village right. or the so you stand there with a piece of paper and yeah 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 is it a complete thought or do you work out things like let me say Jerry curl instead of you know just yeah, yeah, Peter, do you go like <laughs> I'm not just gonna say nigger I'm gonna say Jerry curl nigger like do you, do you, do you, uh, I, I take the idea then I bring it on stage and kind of riff on it uh, okay so then I take that and you know it's That's all right. it's all it's, it's just built it's, yeah it's just not right. really now, organic when like, you're working on think. when you're working on your jokes about your wife. Right. Do you really whisper? Do you talking code into the machine? Just in case <laughs> you know what it is? It's because I hang out, you know, you hang out with other married guys. So it's like my wife does something crazy. And then all I need is two other married men who have wives that have done the same thing. And then it becomes. Then it's in your act. Then you, know, you know everyone can relate to it. Yeah, then you go, uh, okay. I got it. All right, I got it. Yeah. It's, right. not, it's not just my wife. You couldn't have thousands of people laughing. Hey, you work with Mel Gibson. Was he a religious freak on when you worked with him and at least a weapon for? No. Start nice screaming, guy, though. Start screaming about the Jews and the Holocaust no, and all? No, no, no. Never heard nice, anything? Nice, nice that guy. That must Ni have been still back in his partying. And, and nice to the Jews, too. Nice to the Jews? Nice. Very yeah, nice all right, Jews. there you go. Very, very oh, nice guy. I love Chris Rock uh, has better things. Everybody's a nice guy. Chris Rock has better things to do than <laughs> no, be but here. Mel Gibson's a nice guy amongst nice. A really nice guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A gentleman. He's a gentleman. And he gave me some money, so I'm never, you know. <laughs> By the way. If he gave me a check, I will never say anything. You know, the Arab world... 
Nothing. Loves the new movie. Is that right? The Jesus Christ movie. All right. They're, 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 they say. Is it converting anybody? No, they, 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 just like, love... they say the beating of Jews have gone up since then. They also love Freddie Got Finger. They did. But, they no. did. <laughs> I say I like Freddie Got Finger. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did too. I thought it was funny. You were the two guys. If you're gonna sit in your, what's a better? DVD in your house. You never sat down and watched it. In I your did. House. It was fun. It was fun. There was some it's funny. Fun. Yeah. You didn't get through the whole. I left. No. <laughs> See Chris Rock special. I, me and Artie, yeah. we're having a Freddie got fingered moment here. <laughs> I love sitting people down and making them watch Freddie got fingered. Right. <laughs> Chris, it's always like you gotta watch the whole thing. You ain't moving, Chris. <laughs> See, it's a form of torture. <laughs> no, but it is fun. It's got some funny things. He's, he's, Chris, will you next time you come in here? Will you do your greatest hits? Like you know how singers come in and do their songs. My theory is, oh, that, so, don't you, you hate come in comedians that do their greatest hits? That would be the greatest. Isn't it? That's the worst. No, I love most that. comedians do their greatest hits. No, I would you love to see him live, and they do. Every joke you heard him do before. That's like, true. And it sucks. Hickory, dickory, duck. <laughs> oh, God. You know what I've always <laughs> wanted to ask you? Were you trying? Were you trying? Only Sam didn't do his greatest hits. Sam, no, Sam was great. Sam, Sam would give was you a original. new show every, every time. Every time. Every Wasn't night. that amazing? <laughs> amazing. I used to say to him, Did you? he goes, well, I just thought that up. And I go, well, remember it. He goes, I'm too drunk to remember it. Right. <laughs> Sam would give you a new show. He go. He would not go on the road with old material. It's true. No. He gave the audience, you know, never, you know, you heard that food bit once. What a fertile mind. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, there was these, one thing. kids today. I always mm. wanted to ask you, were you trying to get under Jerry's skin in that movie when you told him how good Bill Cosby was? No, I wasn't trying to get under his skin. I don't understand the question. <laughs> well, you'd have to see the You'd have to see a, right. you saw a comedian. comedian. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I watched some of that. I don't care about he that. He didn't watch the whole thing either. But Chris is sitting <laughs> there. Jerry, <laughs> I didn't Jerry care. is running around the country trying to work out some material. And then Chris says, you know, I just saw Bill Cosby the other day. He did two full hours. Killer. He said, really? two hours. All new. Killer. <laughs> Killer. <laughs> I knew you were trying to get to him. Nah. <laughs> Jerry, cool. Believe me. Call me last night. Bill Cosby's never been funny. <laughs> I <laughs> like you. What? He loves you, though. Bill, yeah. yeah. Bill Cosby's funny. <laughs> no, he's not. He's funny. Just not to you, but he's funny. I went to see him in concert when I was a kid a bunch of times. Like, really? Yeah, because everyone was carrying on about him. I'm going to go and I go, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm mean, just getting bored here. It's Chris, like a lot of talk, man. Chris has nothing two, being funny. Chris has two messages today. Bill Cosby and Freddie Got Fingered. Or Fred <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a message. Your special is hysterical. Chris Rock special, Never Scared, Saturday night, 10 o'clock on HBO. I'm having a party to watch it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Poker game it's with the guys. It's like a watch. fight. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like fight. It's a big event. Uh, Chris, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. And uh, embarrassing yeah. me again. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on! It wasn't that bad. It wasn't. Actually, it's not that bad. I take it well. Just because you were mean to everyone. All right. Uh, well, big uh, up to the black women out there. <laughs> well, do yeah, they need it right? And now. all the white women I've loved before. Yeah, yeah we yeah. need your names. Yeah. Uh, Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. God. God. All right. God. All right. We're gonna. Uh... What are we gonna do, Howard? I'm just looking at some of the. Are you getting fired? Are you leaving this place? Let's go. I'll on. be fired. Yeah. You're gonna be fired. If so, Bush wins, you're done. Oh, uh, I'm done before Bush wins. But if he wins, you're like really done, and everything. No, the rest like, of you like are done. You is done. No, I'll, I'll be fine. You're done. <laughs> yeah, I'm you, fine. I'm you fine. all will be you joining think. us. Well, you got John Ashcroft's gonna have another four years to clean up HBO. I don't think he'll be working there. No, no, I'm I'm gonna have to work live. You're yeah. going to be working live. You're going to be on tour. I can go to satellite. You think it's going to stop at broadcasting? He'll eventually clean up the clubs too. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'll be at the Apollo every night. <laughs> I tell you what, just beware of clear channel communication. No, 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 no. You know what? You know they, they own everything. They not only they own everything, but they they're everything. in bed with. I mean, George. I just I, um, they did my tour. Did they? No, and, uh, really. Yeah, and some of it was good, but like in some markets. So they own the, they own the radio station, right? Right. Mm -hmm. They own the concert venue. Mm -hmm. They own the billboards. They own the billboards. But you know what else they own? They own the ticket broker. Ugh. So yeah. some time, some nights I'd go out there and there's like no black people for me, and I go, what happened? And people, I'd be talking to people backstage and I go, well, I paid four hundred dollars for your ticket. That's right. But they Yikes. bought it through a broker. Right. That Clear Channel actually owns, so the tickets go on sale and the, the brokers buy them up. They, they, it's not even that the brokers buy them up. They give them to the broker. Yeah. Chris, you want to get they, serious about this for a and minute? And they tell me 
that, oh, you sold out 4,000 seats in a day, but in reality, they gave 3,000 to the broker or whatever. Wow. Right. That's, yeah. That's, that's, and why aren't you getting that money? And I'm not getting that, because the white man's going to take your money. Anyway. Well, you want to know something? It's a lot of extra money. i got to tell you that's something. That's a lot of extra oh, money. Yeah. Clear Channel got in that position because they pay off Bush, and Colin Powell's son cleared the way for them to own every radio station and every venue. There's no monopoly problem with there, and they're busy finding me to keep you distracted from knowing what you know because you're an entertainer. I, I know. I know I got... You know, I probably got robbed of a couple. Yeah, they made dollars. a lot more money for all that writing in the basement than you. Did. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> you getting robbed a couple of million dollars? How about this? I have a clear cut contract with them. Um, if they fire me, which they have the right to do, they have um, 30 days after they fire me, and then I can go on any radio station I want to, and they still have to pay me. And uh, they're supposed to call me if they're going to fire me. They they did none of that. They just sent me a letter saying, "Oh, I'm in bre me. I'm in breach of the contract. They're not going to pay me. So now I got to sue them for what they owe me. They don't honor their contracts. This guy Lowry Mays is a punk, and I got news for you. And his two sons, and they're awful people. They don't honor their contracts, and it's outrageous. And I mean, I'm going to have to go take them to court now for a million years. As, as Paul Mooney once said. But I'll do it. Ask the Indians about white men in contracts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly I'm digging Paul Mooney a whole lot. Exactly. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, I don't even, I said to my agent, why do we bother signing these contracts? They owe me the money. They're just not going to pay it. And, then, and they'll drag me through the courts. And this, and this whole thing with the obscenity, and now they're obsessed with porno. But Ashcroft says, you They're know, not going to get rid of porno because too many corporations make money off it. But can I tell you something? Ashcroft says, I'm sick and tired of the porno industry filtering their stuff and, you know, and, and bringing it to the American public. American public's buying this stuff to the tune of $10 billion a year. Yeah. What? What? We're not being dragged you into it. You, you can't check in any major hotel, family hotels, mind you. A lot of hotels make more money off porno than they, they do. do food. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then they do rooms. Well, I tell you what, there's a lot wrong. But who's going to come out and say, you can't take my porno? See, it's an easy one. You know, the guy can't do it. But to answer oh, your you'll, question. you'll check into the, into the hotel. But to we have porno. <laughs> but to answer your You're question, choice. we're going to be off the air. Because uh, here's what's happening. We've been pulled off six stations. And... Um, the they're company. You're up to find us. They're going to find us here through this company next. Then they're going to start finding individual performers. So let's say you go on HBO, Ashcroft goes after you for some reason. He's going to find you too, but right now they can't because you're on cable. But they're going to find me. They're going to find me millions of dollars a day. I can't afford to do that. So the fact of the matter is, I'm out. I'm out of here. So it's a question, you know, do I go to satellite? I've, been, I've heard from, you know, like I haven't. I, I'm loyal to this company. I'm not going to sit there and negotiate. But I've heard from that they have interest, like Sirius and that other one. That well, other doesn't, satellite. doesn't Clear Channel own some stock? It doesn't stock. own. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, they 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 they're no longer they no longer own that. But anyway, the point is, it is we're done, we're over here. I mean, this is a matter of time. Well, if you're done, I'm done. You're not done. <laughs> I'm not done, done. But you know, if I can't, if I don't have HBO, I'm done. Oh yeah. Well, the <laughs> HBO thing's going to happen next after he gets elected. They're not going to do that before the election. So you. But he's already mentioned it, Ashcroft, that HBO is a pornographer. Yeah, he really? said. It. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. That's what the people want. It's cr the people don't want don't this. Want. And by the way, the Republicans are the dudes who said they were going to stay out. If the, if the marketplace loves it, then, you know, we stay out of your bedroom. But they won't. It's all about kids, and it's such a lie, you know. It's, 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 it's the man. It's the white man. Can't deal with him. The evil white man. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. I know. Now you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. I hear you. That's right. I'm like Huey Newton now. Right. Yeah. Philip Morris was a yeah. bunch of Jerry Curl yeah. niggas. <laughs> That's right. Ashcroft would be all over us. You're damn right. <laughs> You're damn right. You're damn right. Black man has no place in this America. That's right. And look at all the people who've come out to talk about how bad we are. What do they look like? Exactly. Not like you. Yeah. Let's people are calling me Martin let's, Luther Stern. Let's let, let, let's let a black company start making guns. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. How long people will be voting to make that waiting yeah. time longer? Let's see how, how long that amendment. Oh, let's see if Charlton Heston come out for the black company that's making guns. <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny.
I think Daisy we gotta, saying Charlton Heston's crazy. I, I might just do that. I'm going to invest all my money in making a, a white gun. <laughs> and then you can give a special, a white gun special, white bullet. special discount on the guns for black people. Oh, then you really God. get out of business in a this day. Little... All right, listen, we got to go. We're out of here. Uh, Chris Rock special. Never scared. Saturday night, 10 o'clock. HBO. Yeah. Everyone should watch it. Everyone should watch it. It's important. It's important, <laughs> evidently. Yeah. And funny. All right, and we'll be back right after this. All right. Now be glad to take your questions. I will start with you. Uh, Mr. President, why are you and the FCC trying to silence Howard Stern for being a Jew? He was a threat to the United States. And when this nation sees a threat, we got to deal with it. In other words, he was a danger. And so we dealt with him. Yes, Mr. President, uh, you say you, you want to clean up the airwaves, uh, but yet you seem to be taking freedom of speech hostage in the process. What do you have to, to say about that? Um, what, uh, let me put that... To, what, uh, I didn't see... I mean, I didn't have that... You know, uh, it, it, they... they it, Go ahead. I'm sure something will pop in my head here in the midst of this press conference, all the pressure of trying to come up with an answer, but he's put me under the spot here, and maybe I'm not quick, as quick on my feet as I should be. Okay, well, here's an easy one. What, what did you have for dinner? Um, I think 50 tons of mustard and a turkey. Uh, let's see, last question here. And uh, what years did you get those DUIs, Mr. President? A uh, 97, and 98, and 99. Thank you all very much. 95. X. Damn, the song.